and girls good evening welcome to the am stream welcome to the sci-fi show this friday evening and how are we all doing <coughs> excuse me good evening welcome it's alcon 2020 time tonight yes the new alcon 2020 game is in our hands ladies and gentlemen <laughs> And it is beautiful. The physical copies are out at last. And don't worry if you missed out. There is a second batch and second run of these um, um, being made available. So if you missed out on these, there is a second batch and run. Exclamation mark, um, Alcon2020 in the chat if you missed out and you want to get another, the, uh, get another batch of these. And if you have an Amstrad, is well worth getting. It will run on any of uh, any Amstrad. Four six CPC four six four six six four four seven two. Um, four six four plus six four two eight plus GX four thousand. Because, because if I just open this up very carefully. Comes on a standard cartridge, right? Okay, so that will plug into your GX four thousand. 464 plus or 6128 plus but with this you can order a uh, play cp a play to cpc expansion right okay which will the cartridge will plug into a special device which will then plug into the expansion port on your cpc 464 472 664 or 6128 and this will work in your normal Amstrad CPC 464, 472, 664, 6128. And you can play a cartridge game in your normal CPC. Isn't that, ama isn't that amazing? It'll cost a little bit more money, but it will work. And it will work for all, um, future sort of cartridge releases as well. And this may well be the future for new um, Amstrad physical releases. Um, I'm told there are several new... Um, Amstrad Productions in progress at the moment that's going to be using that format. Maybe even a certain big new release has been in the news recently. Possibly. Possibly. Anyway. Yeah, Alcon 2020 is out. Um, if you remember, guys, we um, we have um, obviously featured this game on the Amstream several times in the past. It's been a year since we looked at this. So this came out two years ago. And we loved it. We thought it was absolutely fantastic. I've done a long plane review of it on the channel. We've done li a live stream of this. Um, and it was great. It was amazing. Um, and um, uh, a year ago, almost to this day, um, we featured this on the Sugars, if you remember. And Avalor, who was in the chat earlier, I don't know if he's still here or not, surprised us all on um, last year's The Sugars with a new updated early version which was running at um, 25 frames per second uh, the previous version was running at something about like I don't know 17 frames per second or something like that but 25 frames per second is like buttery smooth that is like the gold standard you want to be hitting anything that's 25 frames per second or above is like uh, well if you hit 25 frames per second or 25 or 50 25 or 50 
at 25 is basically where your eye, your, the human eye perceives anything as like smooth, basically. Okay, anything from 25 above, the human eye perceives as like smooth. Okay, that's what kind of what you want to hit. That's what um, basically um, the uh, anything shown at a cinema, certainly up to like modern times. Anything it was was like basically shown in like sort of 24 to 25 frames per second at cinemas, right? Um, anything back in the day was anyway, because um, that's what the human eye kind of perceives things as smooth, right? So they dropped the bombshell uh, on last minute on the last year's sugars. Suddenly, on the day of the sugars, I got a version coming through. Um, I go, hey, Zypho. Here's a 25 frames per second version of Alcott 2020 if you want to feature it tonight. So we did. And uh, so it was like we featured it. And then Alcott 2020 went on to win Game of the Year that <laughs> on the Sugars last year. And I think that was probably the tipping point because uh, it went on to win. It was on stiff, with stiff competition from the abduction of Oscar Z. I mean, I think everyone had tipped the abduction of Oscar Z to win that year. But then Alcon 2020 came in with like, hey, 25 frames per second version. And it was like, yeah, went on to win. So at the end of that stream, I promised I would not um, play the game again or feature it. Not until one, they finished the full version because there was a few bugs and uh, things that you hadn't ironed out. Once they, because once they'd um, implemented that um, 25 frames per second a lot of things got broken in the game that they had. They would have to go back and fix and all that kind of stuff. Um, and tweak. A lot of things uh, yeah, disappeared. They would have to re-add in and blah, 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 blah. And also, uh, people are going to have to wait a long time before they get to play it. So I said, I wouldn't touch it again until everyone else got to play the game themselves. So now that the new physical versions are in people's hands... Oh, my camera's gone fuzzy. Okay. Now that everyone's uh, getting this in their hands... It's time to play it. Now, Abelor and the team, Toto, who were in the chat earlier, are very kindly, very, very kindly giving me the one and only uh, .cpr ROM file, um, which you can use in emulators, to play tonight on the stream. So no one else in the world has this apart from them and myself. So we've got an exclusive tonight on the AM stream. We've got the one and only uh, ROM file playing emulators so we're going to play it tonight and have a playthrough of the game i'm going to try and beat it tonight um so that's my goal if we can we're going to try and loop and beat the game um so it's going to be a nice chill down stream tonight um it's going to be a little bit shorter one tonight because i've got to finish a little bit earlier one i'm still quite ill i'm dosed up on ibuprofen it's i can't shake this bloody cold at the moment it's horrible uh, two, I've had a really late night because of my, uh, my sister's wedding. And three, I've got a really long day tomorrow and long night ahead of me. I've got a club. I've got my club night and DJing tomorrow. Um, but um, so if we actually beat the game early tonight, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, we um, considering that this may well be the best arcade conversion on the Amstrad ever done. We'll see what you guys think to it in a bit. Uh, we may have a little think about what other games are the best arcade conversions on the Amstrad. Because it's about time we did a top 20 best arcade conversions ever. And we'll have a see what we you guys can think of, which will come alongside that. It's about time we did a little video on that. Um, we can take some suggestions and have a little playthroughs of them. Um, so, uh, and we can do some maybe some game, game requests and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll see it. We'll see where the night leads us anyway. So uh, let's just a quick um, hello and greetings in the chat uh, Let's do a little timer and count down very quickly um, Let's do greetings For I don't know 15 minutes at the most at the most Right, let's have a quick look at the chat then. I will try and start from the top and work my way down very quickly tonight There's a lot of people in the chat then and I've missed the very start now. So um, the first person I could see at the top of my chat was Mr. Pete Walker. <laughs> Greetings, Pete Walker, the legend. How you doing, Pete? Manuel, Manuel Schultz. Thank you so much for increasing your pledge in the AM squad. That just blew me away earlier today when I saw it. 
I've been away from things for a few days because of my uh, I've had a big wedding in the family and it's just been an all-consuming thing I can't describe it's just been silly but Manuel thank you so much uh, welcome uh, Mr. and Mrs. Schultz as always welcome Manuel um, uh, next to him, Edward Berger good to see you Edward a lot of love for open tower defense uh, on last week's um, Amstream and the sugars welcome Edward how's your new project going along my friend We've got Abelor in the chat there as well. Good evening, Abelor. Abelor, of course, the coder behind Alcon 2020. Thank you, Abelor, for sorting out the um, .cpr file for tonight. Thank you, my friend. David Watkins, good evening as well. Hey, Hon Puds, how your Puds doing, hey, Hon? Man Shovel, welcome, Man Shovel. Toto, how you doing, Toto? Toto is the man uh, behind the graphics on Alcon 2020. Welcome, Toto. Um, and, uh, and the man behind the Play 2 CPC expansion that the cart can plug into and plug into your normal CPC as well. Uh, oh, yes, if you're interested in getting the Alcon 2020 physical edition, exclamation mark Alcon 2020 in the chat, and the Nightbot will respond with a link. Arnie the Viking, good evening, um, Arnie, how you doing? Warzord, good to see you, my friend, my fellow Ams fan. Um, Scotty Jim, good to see you again, my friend. Welcome. Abbasyth, good to see you too, dude. Good evening, my friend. <coughs> Sorry, guys. German78, moshing into the stream. How you doing, mate? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Vimster, Vimmy, house tricks, my friend. Mr. Craig Harrison, aka the Craig's Bar. Good evening to you too, dude. Welcome. Retrobate, hello, Retrobate. How are you doing, my friend? A dreamy, hello dreamy, house tricks, welcome. Nice to see you again, dreamy. I hope you're doing well. Lovely to see you as always. Um, we also have um, an FC Den Hog in the house. Welcome, FC. Um, sorry guys for no marbles last night. I'm sorry about that. I think, I think most of you know why now. Robert Berry, Mr. Rob CMDR Sabotage. Rob, house tricks, my friend. And thank you again for the £10 dono the other night, mate. That's very much appreciated, Rob. Good to see you again, my friend. Thank you. OJ Bees, OJ, your joystick spinner, an absolute godsend for playing um, uh, Alcon 2020 on my GX4000. It's been absolutely amazing to play on, actually, um, OJ. Thank you again for that. Your, um, uh, your Maverick, um, Frankenstein Maverick, it's been brilliant. Um, I might try and hook it up to the PC later, actually. Um, Alexandru Ianu, welcome again, my friends. Welcome. I remember you from the Sugars last week. How are you doing, Alexandru? Nice to see you again. Um, let's see. Who else have we got popping in? Magic Knight. Oh! <laughs> man Shovel. Is that the real Man Shovel? Let's have a look. <laughs> Whoa, man shovel! I am happy to see Zypho revisiting Alcon 2020. I fondly remember one of my first AM streams when Zy was playing this game. Zypho and the AM squad were so welcoming and it felt great during a tough year. Aww. I will definitely get the nostalgic vibes tonight. Oh, bless you, man shovel! Thank you for the 420. Is that a reference to 4, 420 in America? You know, the... Is that, is that a 420 reference? Man Shovel, thank you very, very much. That's a lovely message there, dude. Thank you. Bananas in the chat there from the Man Shovel. Dude, was that, was that really one of the first streams you joined in on? Thank you, man. Thank you. That's cool, dude. Uh, I, I, I'm so glad our community was really, really nice and welcoming, and I'm really proud of that, actually. Bad Shovel, you rock, dude. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Enjoy the Nanas there, and I'm so glad you did find, find us, mate. You're a very, very, very valued member of the community. And uh, I better crack on the greetings, though, Man Shovel, but thank you, dude. Thank you, man. It's very kind of you. So, Yellow Valley, you might have already headed off already, but uh, I hope you have a nice night shift, dude. Always, always lovely to see you pop in whenever it is. Uh, CPC Game Reviews, Nish. Good to see you, Nish. Welcome. We've got Mrs. Zypho in the chat as well. Welcome, babe. Oh, hang on. 
Oh. <laughs> it rhymes with Jubilee. With a 128. 128k. Who's this? My young colleague does not know what an Amstrad nor Amiga is. I have to teach the young man. I believe that was Jolly. Hello, Jolly. Thank you for the 128. You have a young colleague that does not know what an Amstrad nor an Amiga is. I have to teach a young man. Well, well, well we're going to sh well, we'll show them. We're going to be showing them a very, very good Amstrad game very shortly. Banana's in the chat for Jolly there. I think that is Jolly. Thank you, Jolly. Very, very kind of you. Thank you for the um, 128k there. Thank you, Jolly. Thank you. <laughs> if they're watching, that is. That is. Um, all right, very quickly, finish off the greetings here. Um, who else have we got? Um, Amasive. Hello, Amasive. I think I said hello already. Um, got Nivrig. Hello, Nivrig. Good to see you, my friend. Robin Hook, the Retro Games Wiz. Good evening. Um, let's see who else. Uh, das Iceman. Good evening, Das Iceman. Welcome. I'll be a physical release. Indeed, my friend. Neutrino Flyer. Can I play Alcon in Win 8? Uh, eventually, I think they will release um, a... Um, an emulator version of the game. At the moment, it's a physical release only. At the moment, Neutrino Fire. Um, our exclamation mark, Alcon 2020, if you want to go and buy the physical release. Um, let's see. Mikey and Janie. Hello, Mikey and Janie. How you doing, guys? Good to see you. Welcome. How's tricks been? And how's um, the acting jobs been? And how's the streams going? Welcome, Mikey. AD Sneaky Freak sneaking into the stream. How you doing, AD? Nice to see you, my friend. What's new with you? Lord Respergu. Welcome, Lord Respergu. Hey, welcome. You've done the order as well. Good man, Lord Respergu. Always spotting the Amstrad scene. Ginger Hippie Gaming. How you doing, mate? You're playing on the GX4000 at the moment. Nice. Good man. Good man. Welcome, matey. Welcome, welcome. Um, yellow belly's ordered his. Excellent, excellent. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Uh, Wayne! Hello, Wayne! Good evening, Mr. Wayne Jordan. How you doing, my friends? We're gonna meet up for, for beers at some point soon, Wayne. It's the summer soon. There's some nice summer beers together soon, Wayne, alright? Uh, Zadulan! Good evening, Zadulan. How you doing, my friend? Welcome. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, guys. Nice to see you again to do then. How tricks of you, mate? I love the idea of Jeeks 4000 homebrew. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, oh, God, my chat just re-scrolled itself, so I lost where I was. Uh, my, oh, there, I think I found it. Mikey says sexy cartridge. Indeed. Sexy cartridge. Why is my camera? Sexy cartridge, sexy box. There we go. Um, oh, I know where I am now. I know where I am. Excellent. It's cool. Not monkey flu, though. It's not monkey flu. No. No, 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 no. Uh, Gambit771. Seven, seven, welcome. Welcome, Outrun. Won't be one of the better arcade conversions. Uh, Zipstick. How you doing, mate? I, oh, nice avatar you've got there, Zipstick. Come on, you reds. Forest promoted. I'm a very, very happy man. Uh, Yanni, welcome back to the Amstream, my friend. Welcome, welcome. The dealer says, congrats to Nottingham Forest getting promotion. Yes. Let me see who's is trending straight afterwards. <laughs> I know why. <coughs> Nottingham, uh, Nottingham did have the only Hooters restaurant. And it's quite near to the city ground as well. <laughs> Lister and Smeg, good evening. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. I've been quite ill recently. I'm nearly, nearly uh, over it. Right, I think it's about time we started the game up and running. Right, okay. I'm just about past where the bananas were. I meant everything, including the £4.20. The £4.20. Right, gotcha. Mad shovel, gotcha. <laughs> Um, uh, where were we? Uh, uh, Retro on Limb. Good evening, Retro on Limb. How you doing, mate? And Darren Cole. It's been a while. Welcome, Darren Cole. 
let's get rid of the timer there. I think we're done with the greetings. We've done. We, we've been uh, saying hello for long enough now. So if I missed anyone, do say hello again in the chat. And if I missed anyone, please say hello again. And if I missed any messages, please feel free to repeat them. And we'll do that in the chat. Say hello again in the chat. Right, let me just blow my nose quickly. Darren, it's nice to see you back here again, Darren. Hey, it has been a while. Has been a while. Okay. Right, let's get it up and running, boys and girls. Uh, let me get my uh, folder of cards. Hopefully, I got this ready and running. Oh, I've got to remove uh, the thumbnail here. One second, guys. Hang on, hang on. There we go. There we go. We've got a nice intro here. And let the intro run. Here we go. good yes i totally agree there might might have to turn it down a touch oh the other thing i need to mention is i hope toto's still in the chat because he might uh, be able to correct me if i get anything wrong here so if you order this with the uh play to cpc like expansion thing even if you've got the um a plus machine um it will allow you to have six channels of sound right okay so let me just get my um i'm gonna play on the arcade stick i've got here at the moment if i just press the second fire button hang on okay let me just say uh, it's not recognizing my stick at the moment all right, here we go. Sound mode. See that there? Six channel full. Okay. You can have six channels of sound. So normally, your Amstrad's AY chip has like three channels of sound. Okay, normally. So what the, um, I think I think it's the play, it's called the Play 2 CPC. Let me make sure, let me just make sure I've got the right name of it because I sometimes get it uh, confused. Um, yeah, it's a play. Uh, I think it's the play to CPC. Play to CPC, right? Um, because there was a previous card that uh, that was called the uh, play city card. So, there was a few years ago, I think it was 2014. Let me just put some music in the background. There was a cut, there was an there was like an expansion card released in 2014 called the play city cards. Which is like a, an additional AY chip on, a, on like a board. And you plugged it into the expansion port on the back of your CPC. So it was like an, it was like an additional AY chip alongside your AY chip inside your CPC. And it gave you six to nine, nine channels worth of sound, right, essentially. Okay. Um, so it would like, it would expand the sound capabilities of your Amstrad. Okay. What this new board allows you to do, called the Play shoot what's it called again play to cpc it combines the play city but with the expansion slot to plug carts in right so you get the extra three channels of sound plus being able to plug carts into the board 
onto a CPC. It also works with the Plus, but you need to like a Centronics adapter. Because the Plus machines don't use the old um, cardboard um, edge connectors. They, they change the, from the old CPCs and like those cardboard uh, edge connectors. Whereas like on the Plus machines, they change it to like Centronics connectors for the expansion bits. So you need like a, a edge connector to Centronics connector. But it'll work. It'll work. They're quite cheap and easy to get hold of. Play City adds two additional AYs. Play two CPC adds one. Right. Okay. So the old cards, the Play City one adds two additional AYs. Play two CPC adds one. Right. Yes. So as to Toto's in the chat. So Toto is like the graph is the guy who's done the graphics in the in this game, but he also makes the cards. The expansion cards. So Toto on the moon there can answer any questions. Okay. So this is cool. This is cool. So I'm glad we got the experts here. Craig also knows as well. So, but if you get the play to CPC, which you can order with this if you want to, an extra cost. It's worth getting. It's, I think it's worth getting. I didn't like an idiot because I didn't know you could at the time. When this, when this went live on the website, I just immediately went and pre-ordered. I, did, I didn't know you could get it. Anyway, um, the cards with Avalor. That's true. That's true. <coughs> so, you can get six channels uh, of audio with uh, Alcon 2020. You get the music, and then you can have three channels of sound effects with the music. Okay. Um, so I got a little confused as well because it's like, hang on, there's like one version. There's some people talking about getting nine channels of sound. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so, so it gets a little confusing. So hopefully I've I've explained it roughly right. So, but yeah, you can get like basically six channels of sound. So here you are. You can have. But if you don't have it, you might have to either choose between three channels of sound effects or three channels of music if you don't have the card. But thankfully, in the CPC EC emulator, which I'm using tonight, it does have uh, the ability to emulate the Play uh, City or Play 2 CPC abilities. So tonight, in the emulator, we're going to have the full capabilities of the music and sound effects together. Okay. So I just wanted to explain that. And um, we're going to play on um, the default set settings of difficulty, medium, free credits and free lives as well. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. All right. <laughs> right. Off we go. Oh, hang on. What's going on? It, something's gone wrong here. Yeah, my joystick screwed up. What's going wrong with my... Like, fire button's stuck on for some reason. What's going on? Yeah, let's reset that. Oh dear, that's not a good start, is it? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh... Oh dear, right, hang on, let me look. Let's try that. Okay, let's try resetting that. Well, okay. That's a bit weird. Let me just bring that in again. See if we can get that working. Okay. Yeah, we're on emulation tonight. Balls Deep Gaming and Retro. Wow, what a name. Welcome to the stream. And Avalor's in the chat still. Hey, welcome. So, what is this game? This is Alcon 2020. So, I should also explain. Sorry, I forgot to mention this. Most people will know this game as Slap Fight. Uh, everywhere in the world knows this as Slap Fight. Okay. It was only in America where um, the arcade coin-op was known as Alcon. Japan, UK, Europe, whatever, the game was known as Slap Fight. And it was converted by Ocean Software and Imagine Software um, to like, uh, like uh, the Amstrad Spectrum Commodore and the Atari, I think? Did they get a port? I don't actually know, they probably didn't. 
uh, but to most computers as Slap Fight. Uh, Avalor decided to use the Alcon name, possibly to get um, not get any um, anyone getting getting themselves into any trouble with copyright claims and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Hey, Jeremy uh, Gregorio, welcome to the stream. It says, well, that's an extra game. I don't think you've ever seen a computer with a bigger disparity what a game could be than the CPC. Well, yeah, this is possibly one of the best looking games you're going to be seeing on uh, and running on an Amstrad. Here we go. Yeah, it's working now. Here we go. We'll get all three speed power ups as soon as we can. There we go. Welcome anyone new to the stream tonight. Oh, look at this move. Guys, the difference between this and the uh, first version Avalor released. I mean, it, it's night and day with the movement and how smooth it is. I mean, the first version was freaking amazing, but like, oh, oh. This is incredible. I'll leave that one at the bottom there. Wow. Avalor, this is just amazing. Toto, the graphics as well. Damn it, I got Rex there. Anyway, doesn't matter. Mike ZT, good evening. Welcome. I'm a bit distracted anyway. Uh, uh. Old style gaming, hello my friend as well. How's tricks my friend? Slap Fight was always a weird name for a game. I mean, Slap Fight? Who thought that was a good name for a shooter mod? Well, what we're trying to do, we're gonna, we, we want to get uh, homing missiles as soon as we can. There we go, homing missiles. The side attacks. And then we need to get our wings. Oh, I missed the wings. Ah, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Too many stars. So your stars are your power ups. Each star moves along the um, the power up selector at the bottom of the screen. It's represented by symbols, but now uh, Avalor's added the text to the bottom right, and it tells you which um, power up you've got selected, um, which you can choose. Currently, it's on laser. If I hit the second fire button, it will select that power up. Ooh. And I don't want to choose laser at the moment. I want to keep the homing missiles. No, the homing missiles are just awesome. Shield. I think I'm going to have the shield for this boss. Shield on. Yay! There we go. It looks 16 bit. Oh my god. Isn't it amazing, guys? So, there's some new people in the chat. I'm gonna. When I die here, I'll pause and I will catch up um, with everyone's messages in the chat. It's really hard to um, look away and read the chat on this one. But for anyone that's never seen an Amstrad game before, welcome, welcome to the current, like, homebrew scene on the Amstrad. It's freaking amazing what people are coming up with. So now what I'm going to alternate between doing is collecting stars for shield and wing, basically. Where I'll probably get caught out a few times. Right. 
All right, all right, I got past these ones. Ooh. Okay, okay. Now these ground targets only appear if you've got the homing missiles. Uh, is enemy random or fixed spawns? They're pretty much fixed spawns. They're fixed spawns. So there is like a kind of... Um, you can uh, uh, it can be a bit of a, it can be a bit of a memory test actually you can memorize bits of this there is a lot to memorize though shield well, are we ready to use the shield when I pick up the star shield though doesn't last very long got the shield on. You can see my ship flashing. And the shield is gone already. One more star for the shield again. Shield is ready. Harbit coming up. Uh, yes. Yeah, this area. This area will lightly trip me up. These guys take about two hits to kill. Okay, I lost my sh uh, I've lost me uh, wings. Sorry, guys, I'm missing a lot of chat there. When I die, I will pause. I promise to pause and have a uh, I'll have a catch up with the chat properly. It's one of those games where you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can't really take your eyes off the screen for too long. We're doing pretty well here, though. The only thing is, you haven't, you can't, I don't think you can get your full wingmen. Normally you can go add, you've got two wingmen. If you can normally on the arcade, you go up to like four wings. So, Avalor, was that like a thing you couldn't add in on this version? Full complement of the wings. Was that like a sacrifice that had to be made? screws ah uh, we're gonna be a bit we're gonna be a bit screwed up there now ah uh, damn it so Avalor yeah um the uh the 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 uh wingmen um so you can't go extra. Uh, you can't go with a full wide wingman on this version. Was that was that a sacrifice that had to be made? Um, ab, uh, abs, uh, abs, true. Uh, sorry, abs, true. So TV, welcome, welcome to the Amstream. Is this your first time here? Um, and balls deep, welcome as well. Again, is this your first time here on the Amstream? Um, this looks very much like a good quality master system shooter. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah. And there's some very, very good Master System shooters, actually. Was that one we were playing on Twitch, Man Shovel? Was very impressed by. The full wingman is more on marketing stuff and doesn't add anything to the game. 
to be removed to get better performance. Fair enough. So, yeah. Are you, you, I think... So, did you add it and found it actually caused slowdown in the game? So, yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, Into just popped in. Do any glasses with the game release out? No, I just paused it. So if I, I I'll, I'll pause it like that. There we go. I just died. I promised I would. Uh, when I next died, I would pause the game and just catch up on the chat because I can't. If I look away for a second, I was gonna die. Um, the answer looks very impressive from this game. Power Strike. That's the one. OSG. That was bloody good on the uh, Master System. Apart from the, um, apart from the goddamn flickering on that, yeah. Hot take, in my opinion, the game uses CPC high res lower co modes have aged much better aesthetically. Um, that's because we have a very, very skilled graphics artist making um, very clever choices with a uh, dibbering stippling and the right balance of shading and use of colors. Uh, by the name of Toto, who's in the chat. Toto has done the graphics here. He's a very, very skilled graphics artist. Um, have a look at the graphical work he did on the R-Type remake on the Amstrad. Um, the graphics um, on the R-Type remake on the Amstrad is another like fantastic production. Um, that looks amazing. Look at the R-Type 128K remake on the Amstrad. That is amazing. Um, some people don't like the coding on that as much. People mind about the, the, the still the, the scrolling still looks a bit choppy on that or whatever, but um, they can't fault the graphics on that. Uh, this is hell of a bit of code. Whoever coded this game is a genius. He's here in the chat, Robert Berry. Um, Abelor is the coder, and he's, he's in the chat right above you there, Robert. <laughs> so he's going to be very pleased of your um, words there. Arnie says it's one of those games that uh, that's full of crabs at the wrong moments. <laughs> True. That's Iceman says it's great to see the devs on these modern Amstrad games coming back and improving the game further, even if after the initial release. Puzzle Bobble is another good example of that. Another great um, arcade conversion. Wow. Um, looks to be using five to six channels of music with the extra YUI chip on the Play 2 CPC. I think he's I think he's doing three channels of music and then three channels of sound effects. I think uh, is using all the music channels on this. So uh, I think it, uh, uh, Abelor or Toto might correct me on this, but I think he's doing three channels of music and then three channels of sound effects. I think. I think. Um. Uh. Let me just scroll back up a little bit. I'll probably have this in the next video. I do after the best spectrum games after after the spectrum oh are you gonna do uh, like a best amstrad uh amstrad games that kick the commodore's ass or something like that osg is that what you're gonna do <laughs> right alcon just sounds better for a shooter rob than slap fight i yeah, that is true like the name slap fight is just a terrible name i mean it's memorable oh hang on what's this the Commodore Forum UK has just donated £1.64. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to have to look at my phone who this is. the Amstrad home, Bruce. Loving the stream. But are Commodore winning with home, Bruce? Let the chat decide. <laughs> I believe that might be a naughty uh, GP. Okay, Mr. Pat McNulls. GP, hello, GP. Pat McNulls, how you doing? GP, thank you for the uh, 164 there. Thank you for coming on Forum UK. And the bananas rain down for a naughty GP there. Thank you, dude. <laughs> oh, Toto says exactly. It's free channel plus free channel. Yeah, the free channels for music, free channels for sound effects there. So there you go. And that answers it. Um, uh, what was the game of Retro? As I skipped it, so I'll say this game is pretty much peak Amstrad performance. There are good games on the Amstrad, but generally it's an overlooked platform for reasons. Um, 
Oh, sorry. Uh, if I uh, did, I miss a question there. Thank you, Arnie. Um, so you can only play and choose musical sound effects if the CPC audio only. Yes, thank you, Toto. Thank you. Um, uh, and welcome, GB. Uh, you thought I got away with that. <laughs> Well, I have to say, and it's unlike me, but the Spectrum is definitely winning with homebrew. The thing is, the Spectrum homebrew... Well, I was going to say, a lot, like, 90% of the Spectrum home, like, amazing homebrew is coming from that Zosia team. But then again, there's been a few others that have come like that, like that Nothing game. I helped you, uh, yeah, I gave you the disc for. Uh... And there's like one or, one or two others that um, that are just blowing me away as well. But I, I'd say the vast majority that are like super like, whoa, are like from the Zosia team. But yeah. In terms of like really mind-blowing stuff. I don't know. I, I mean, we've had, on, on the Amstrad scene... There's been this, Alcon 2020, Pinball Dreams, two years, well, Pinball Dreams is 2019. Yeah, had Alcon 2020 and 2020 and then sort of this updated version this year. You had uh, Abduction of Oscar Z. And then you've had some decent games, but like in terms of mind blowing stuff, you've had those three in the last sort of like three, four years. Spe anything from Zosia in the last five years, there's a, there's a lot. And then there's a um, uh, nothing game, yeah, in the Spectrum scene. There's been quite a few, like Sonic on the Commodore scene, uh, Puzzle Bubble. Oh, God. I'm, I'm, actually, I can't, I can't sit here and think about them all. Anyway, I'll just probably talk more uh, later on in the stream. Sordiana, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I need to talk more. I need to think about it more rather than get stuck in my thoughts now. Anyway, right, let's crack on. Let's give this another run. I think I, I think I'll be screwed here. Oh, this is too many. side I mean, it's R-type syndrome. I mean, once you die and lose your power-ups, yeah. Oh, you're screwed, aren't you? Oh. This, that area is impossible. If you have died and lost your power up, so yeah. Well, this looks relaxing. <laughs> I don't think I'll continue if I lose at that, that that bit there because no chance. Oh, I should I, I should point out something. If you bought the physical edition and you have the play. Uh, to CPC expansion and you play this on a uh, CPC it will save your high scores that's that's cool if you if you're playing the cart in a GX4000 or plus without the expansion um, it, it won't be able to save it because it just goes into like you plays it like a ROM in read-only mode but if you have it um, in the play to CPC in a CPC it will actually save your um, high scores that's that's really cool 
That's a really cool feature. Cypher, you do better than me, mate. Oh, wait, that's not hot. Oh, bless you, Craig. It takes practice. It's practice because it's um, you get to memorize a little bit of like the spawns because it all um, they all spawn in the same places. The more you play, the more you learn, and the more you get better. Oh, maybe you got the ultra hard file. Well, well, I'm playing on D. I'm playing on default. Difficulty medium. Credits. Lives free. I could, I could put it on easy. <laughs> Tarhan Tarhan did the music on this. I I didn't know I didn't know actually. Uh, good question. I, I uh, that was my question actually. I didn't know who'd done the music on this. So it was Tarhan who was who's done the music duties. Excellent. Right. He's done a really fantastic job then. Right, we go again. I mean, just look how fast it freaking moves around the screen. We are full speed. What? What's going on? It's glitched again. Why is that happening? Is that a bug? My version. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. What? I'm not touching anything. I don't know why. I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just reset the emulator. It might be an emulator bug. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hang on. I think it's from the alt right key. I'm playing on uh playing on joystick. So but uh blame your emulation I'm playing real hardware. So I'm using CPC EC. It is the very latest version of CPC EC that's out. So uh a CPC EC version uh 2022201 I actually downloaded it today. Anyway, oh, I'll bring it up again. Oh. Emulator just virtually overheated. <laughs> right. But I, I have to cover the uh, intro message there because Abelor did me a version where he's put like my full, actually my full real name on. So I have to cover it over. <laughs> Check, check if the control key is stuck in the emulator by pressing it. Uh, okay, I'll try that next time. He does it again, yeah. And so these kind of title, titles could have, uh, it's like I had increased the CPU user base back in the day. Well, the thing is, of course, team, uh, the Avalor Games team I spent a very, very, very long time coding this. It's been a labour of love for them um, over many, well, it's been spread out over many years. Oh, get to drop frames. Hang on, guys. Oh, there's some drop frames there. Oh, we're back to normal. Sorry if you had a little bit of lag there. They spent a, a very, very, very long time on this. Back in the day, like, like the probably the original slap fight um uh like conversion the team behind that were probably given like you've got like a month to convert this to the amstrad right sometimes teams are given often less than that like <laughs> given like two or three weeks to convert it um um not much time at all so the pressures were on a, uh, a very small team to convert the game under you know very very little time with very very little resources available to them as well and uh, they didn't have the internet back then didn't have very much t the very good tools um, or certainly didn't have very very fast PCs and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> right uh, what
Okay, right. Alright, we're going. We're going. Oh, whoa! Hang on! Bloody hell. <laughs> Lister of Smeg! Thank you for the- Oh, bless you, dude! Press F3 so save a snapshot file in sec. Uh, thank you, Lystra Smeg. Thank you for the uh, 464 there. Actually, I do have a snapshot from the start of it. Oh, actually, do you know what? I'll just load that up again. I actually do have a, uh, a snapshot, actually. There you go. I have one from the start of the emulator there. Thank you, Lystra Smeg, for the 464 there. We'll start it up again. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Smeg. How you doing, my friend? And Paul Henderson, Fenrir. Good evening, Fenrir. Welcome, my friend. How are you? <laughs> Welcome, mate. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Smeg, for the magical 464 there. Bananas in the chat one more time. Right, we'll get this going again. Thank you, Mr. Smeg. How you doing again, man? Right. Get the speed up. And Fenrir, what have you been up to, dude? Okay, stop. No! How do we... Oh, shoot. Save last snapshot. Oh, man. I think I just overwrote my last snapshot file. Ass. I wanted to restart that. Frick. Let me just reset. Bogger. So, Nick of Tech. Good evening, Tech Nick. How are you doing, mate? Uh, what's the save a snapshot? Uh, save last snapshot. Control F2. Oh, well. Hang on. Oh! That didn't work at all. Hang on a second. Welcome, Sir Nickatech. I'm having some technical problems here, actually. The emulator. Hmm. How you doing, Nick? Welcome, mate. File safe snapshot. Right, okay. I think I've sorted it. I think I've sorted it. Right, okay. We're good. Uh, Fenrir says, all good here, thanks. I used to have cool, chill a couple of days with Ellen. Joined Jin and a few games on Air Console last night. What's Air Console? Oh, I think you told me about that. Is that that new um, um, streaming game service that's a bit bit like um, Antstream, but not Antstream? Right. Right. Okay, we're good. Sorry for a bit of a messing about there. I'm still getting used to a few bits in CEC emulator. I wish these emulators could keep like the use of F F funk. Ah! Sorry. Right. How do we load? Load snapshot. Load less snapshot. It's control F3, isn't it? Oh. Sound glitch. Don't worry. That's emulator. As I was saying, I wish these emulators could keep these their function keys the same across the board. Never mind. Thank you for the GG retro on limb.
Noose. Missile. Missed out on a star though. Missed out on another star. I'm an idiot. Oh well. Still good. Chiefy! Hello, Chiefy89! Oh, wing. There we go. moment there. Let me catch up with the chat there properly. Ah. Uh, now, air cost is definitely similar to that. It's a game streaming service, but you can try the game to your phones. There's a little, there's a lots of different things you can do on there. Hmm. Have you described this to me before in a DM? Fenrir. I can't remember it now. Uh, anyway, uh, Technics is all good here, sir. I hope you already find me doing well. Well done to Forest, by the way. Yes! Come on, you Reds! Technic, sorry. <laughs> I get all excited. Um, OSG says, is this game available? Uh, only physical, only physical editions at the moment. OSG, is this something you want to add into your video? Um, if you're going to be making it soon, let me know. Talk to me and I'll talk to Abelor and see if we can, um, sort you something out. Okay. Um... But I miss Chiefy. Uh, Chiefy, hello, Chiefy. How you doing, Mr. Chiefy89? Um, let's see. What was the... Hey, Zypher, any recommendation for a USB to joystick port adapter for a mouse on the CPC? Any recommendation for a USB to joystick port adapter for a mouse on the CPC? No. <laughs> <laughs> um... Um, huh. let me have a think, um, why, uh, oh gosh, well actually, I mean, there was an AMX mouse, wasn't there, uh, people did you, uh, the, they did sell mice for the Amstrad, because you did, there was like a package where you could use a mouse with an art package on the Amstrad. But there isn't any games where there'd be a mouse would you be useful for. OCP Art Studio was compatible with a mouse, but I wonder if it would be absolutely horrible to use. Did anyone ever use a mouse with an Amstrad? And would it be um, of any use apart from with an art package? Did anyone use a mouse with an art package like OCP Art Studio? Um, so yeah, I, Alexandru, is that what you want to use a mouse for with your Amstrad to do some like art designing like with our OCP Art Studio? If you want to use a mouse with a game, forget it. I think I had someone look into that a few years ago um, and it was like a, a dead end really. Um, uh, OCP says, I wonder why Toa Plan, who am I going to always use music that shouldn't shoot a, would shouldn't shoot a shoot em up but somehow really does like Truxton. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to play some Truxton. I haven't really played any Truxton, dude. I, I've always missed out on Truxton challenges in, like, um, tubers for some reason. Uh, DK Tronics Mouse of OCP Art Studio. Technic did. Did it actually work uh, well, Technic? There you go. Talk to Technic, um, uh, Alexandru. <laughs> Uh, David Watkins had a genius mouse uh, used with OCP. Uh, there is a mouse version of Arcanoid and it is awesome. Holy shoots, really? I didn't know there was a mouse version. Um, wow, okay. 
I'm going to have to look into that. That could make an interesting video one day. I'm going to look into mouse, mice versions of stuff. Prey. Ow. Oh, I'm getting um, warning lights to my software. We're getting some drop frames. Oh, we're back. We're okay. Sorry if you got, uh, had a little glitch there, guys. Right, I'm going to carry on with um, some Alcon runs. Yeah, I missed two stars, so I haven't got enough stars for a shield against the boss here. But just like move up and around the back, I'll probably lose my side. Oh, I'm alright. Yeah, I've lost my side, man, but we're alright. Zypho looks like a cute mouse. Zypho, Zypho, my mouse only works on cheese. <laughs> about that one that comes up from behind. Sneaky. Let's get our wingmen back. Of a bitch. That's my wingman. Oh no! Oh! Yeah, I had to hit the ult. Alright, he was doing that thing where it got stuck, the fire button got stuck down. Avalor, you're right, I had, I had to hit the ult key and it got unstuck in the uh, on the keyboard. I'm, I'm dead here. God damn it. Oh, I've pooped it up here. as well. Life I thought Alcon 2020 was a hardware cartridge only game. Read the description <laughs> on the video. 
Uh, no, well, uh, uh, Abelor and Toto are very kindly uh, given me, well, produced me a, um, a .cpr file for use tonight. They've given me the one and only emulator file um, to um, play on stream tonight. So, um... right. This, uh, that, that, Craig, that's blown my mind. So, we're talking about mouse games. I never knew there was, uh, th there's a mouse version of Arkanoid. Where, were, where do we get that? Who, who released an, a mouse version of Arkanoid? Um... CPC power. So we're talking. We're just talking about like using mice, actual mice, on an Amstrad. It's a patch copy of Arkanoid for the Simbi Face mice. Let me find it. Oh, so someone's like a home. It's like a homebrew patch. Mouse Noid. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Hardware multiplayer mouse.zip. This might be it then. Oh, sorry, the chat went. I know the chat's in the way. Uh, uh, uh. The par apparently, guys and girls, there's like a mouse version hack to work with uh, a, a mice. Okay. Okay. Cool. So I I, I thought it was like a, a, like um you know like how there was like an op a light gun version of Operation Wolf. I wondered if someone like who made like uh, like you know that like someone there was like G genius made a mouse like back in the eighties. I wonder if they like I, I was hoping like you meant like they uh, shipped a version of Arkanoid with the mouse. That was like a ocean, like made a, a mouse version of Arkanoid, like an official pack, like version, but that was mouse compatible. Now you mean someone homebrew patched it, right? Right. Okay. So to emulate it, you need the Simbi Face patch version. Okay. Right. Okay. You find that it's a bit of fast moving without. You find that. Uh, sorry, uh, OSG asks. Do you find this is uh, this a bit fast moving without the speed pickup? Uh, do you mean like the other enemies? Like, basically, are you asking? Are you screwed without the speed pickup? Yes. <laughs> the speed pickup is essential. I can't remember how essential it was in like the coin up um coin up version. Like, um have I got a main capture? I do actually. Yeah. I mean I could just I could have a look at I could I could have a look at Slapfy actually. Not slap fight. I could bring up the arcade version quick. <laughs> so this, ladies and gentlemen, is the arcade version. This, uh, yeah, this is the original slap fight. Do you want to see how it compares? So we're gonna have a quick comparison. This, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the arcade version. General to this machine should work out the box, hopefully.
layout and enemy positions are the same. The patterns are identical. And the stars are. Oh, Avalor, you've really studied this. Holy crap. So, ladies and gentlemen, we were just having a look at the arcade version here just quickly just to satisfy mine and OSG's curiosity. Similar it is, guys. But I think the music sounds better on the Amstrad. Speed, four levels of speed up on the arcade, three on the Amstrad. Does the boss behave the same? Boss is easier on the arcade. At the moment, I'm finding the arcade easier. Oh, haha. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting a bit complacent there, I think, actually. Look how slow you move! It actually gives you a speed power up from the start. I selected it and actually got one fairly quickly. But yeah, you move at a snail's pace on the arcade. I luckily, I got like about basically four or five stars from the off there. I'm on maximum speed here. Look how sm slow you move, OSG. So yeah, it, 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 it is like the arcade. I've got a speed immediately off the bat though. We had one. Oh. <laughs> gets impossible. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave the arcade version there. That's fun. That's it. That was interesting. But like, I'm more interested in the. I, I am more interested in the uh, Amstrad version. But wow. Okay. Okay. Alan <laughs> pause that. Okay. We're back. We're back. Oh. Hang on, it's doing that thing again. Hang on. 
let me uh let me uh let me just load that up hang on let's load that there we go um as i've heard the death sequence is faithful to uh right yeah i think it was actually yeah uh, OC says, I actually have this in my video on the, on best uh, arcade ports, even though it wasn't finished. Really? <laughs> yeah, because they released a, released a version that wasn't 25 FPS, but they went back and added um, and, and redid it. So, yeah. Even without it running at 25 FPS, it was still bloody good. On Super C, you only lose one speed level. Oh! Cool. I mean, what happens when you die on the arcade? It it lit when you re when you respawn on the arcade on the next life, it grants you it grants it grants you what it, it, it's like it gives you like you, is it, it's as if you just picked up one star and it like sits you on like uh, in one level on the bar, which is like you want to use the um, speed power up there or something. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hey, Mad One, how you doing, Kev? Not been doing too bad tonight, anyway. Life is start a new credit and die without touching the controls. Oh, on this version. I don't think they've done that trick. So, on the arcade. If you start on the arcade version and die without touching anything, it should respawn you with like a full set. It, no, they've not done it on this version. On the arcade, it should respawn you with like um, it should respawn you with like the full set of like uh, power ups. They have they haven't done it on this version. No. How are you doing, Mame Hayes? Welcome, sir. Uh, did the arcade version not show the area number, or was it just cropped off the capture? Um, I don't think the arcade version does do that. I think this is something they've added in in this version. I think Main Hayes, um, they were struggling for like the, the last, the, the very last bite to fit everything in. Let me just meet the mic. I need to blow my nose. One second, guys. Pop. I managed to remember to mute the mic that time, Lister of Smeg. Sorry about that. Um, that Simbi face thing with the mouse and sorry go, to go back to uh, back to that again, the Arkanoid thing. Simbi face thing is, is that another hardware expansion that y you need for the Amstrad? Am I am I being really dense there, or is that Simbi face? Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh no, I, I think I've just been really dense actually. What do I need? What do, what do I need? Is it? Do I just run that disc? Oh, hang on! Isn't that? Isn't it that opera sort of? Um... Oh no, I'm too I'm too tired and ill to think. Anyway, I'll talk to you offline about that, Craig. Perhaps. Anyway, anyway, never mind. Back to the better version now, says Hey Hard. Do do you, uh, do people think this is better than the arcade? Wow.
Oh, I hit that bit there. Damn! Oh, I nearly had the homing missiles there. And it skipped. There was two stars on top of each other. Ah. Fart! And I got killed there as well. Damn. Good lord. So I guess like it was the original expansion that added PS Mouse, ID RAM and ROM expansions. Oh okay. So it's not something I could just like fire up and then emulate it. Okay, right. Did you like the way I didn't give away any spoilers to the stream? What do you mean by that, Mad One? You have me confused. Mod, hey, hey, how you doing as well, mate? Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm still at it on Alcon. I'm still at it. I probably will be for a while. Certainly not my best Alcon performance tonight, uh, Man Shovel. But I'm having fun, and that's what matters. I'm having a good team, though. If you can, we may emulate all of it. Oh? Does it? Huh? Oh, okay. If we have time late in the stream and you're still about, Craig, we'll have a little test of that. But oh well. And I missed another star there. It disappeared off the bottom of the screen too quickly. <coughs> Side attacks. That's good. No wingmen. That one shot a bullet after it, uh, long after it exploded. I don't know if you anyone noticed there. Anyway. Alcon tonight. I want to. I want to get the first uh, long play video posted on YouTube of uh, the 25 F FPS version. That that would be cool. That's that's really what my aim is tonight. I want to loop this bugger. Yeah, that boss's behaviour is not quite the same as the arcade. He goes up and down and then he stays at the top a little bit longer than he does on the arcade. But hey, it's okay. Wing power up there. 
Of course, uh, when you do the, get the wing there and apply it, he doesn't. Uh, the ship doesn't centre to the screen, uh, and it doesn't uh, 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 like like when the wings apply on the arcade. The ship sort of like gets zoomed centre to the screen, and then they sort of s stick onto him. And while he d while that, whilst that happens, you're temporarily invulnerable. Just attack to get yourself out of trouble. Um, on the arcade version, which could be used at really difficult points in the game. You just suddenly just go zoop like that, and then the side stick on. Um, that's missing in this version. That was on my little wish list of stuff when I was playtesting, but yeah, I think there was like no room left in the memory to do that. It would be quite complicated to run in. Um, at least you aren't cheating like what you normally do on these streams. How dare you, Kevin! I do not cheat! Damn it, I just lost my concentration there for a second. I'm, I, I kind of looked at chat there. I'm gonna blame I'm gonna blame Kev for that. I must slept side there. And it's quite hard to see some of the bullets in this bit as well. Definitely gonna blame Mad One for that fucked up. Speed back up, it's good. I'll continue. We want to try and beat the game tonight. Oh. Come on. Oh. end up going so slowly at the start of this. Oh, I'm just trying to get that speed up as quick and uh, speed up power up as quick as I can. Without it you're just screwed. Yeah, look how quickly it is without that how quickly that game over comes as soon as you're yeah. Uh, don't make me go back and clip on the cases you cheated because I'll do it. <laughs> Mad Commodore, good evening, Mad Commodore. How you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm an Amsterdam expert too now. 100 plus, 100 plus CT games played on real hardware this week. All right, good man, good man. Uh, will this? Will there be a tape image of this like good C64 updates? No, sir. No, sir. Cartridge. Cartridge. Physical release, physical release on a cartridge. There you go. Uh, GX4000 cartridge style, but you can buy it uh, with um, what's called the Play... Um, oh, I'll get the name right because I get this wrong every time. Play 2 CPC um, hardware expansion adapter. And that will also that will plug into a normal CPC. 464 664 6128 and you can plug the cartridge into it and it will work on a normal cpc 
an amazing piece of kit. And a lot of uh, new Amstrad games might be released using a similar thing. There you go. Easy mode. I don't want to do on easy. I don't want to do on default. I want to do it on default. Um, we'll see, Toto. We'll see. I'll give it a couple more goes. I might, I might resort to easy. I might resort to easy. The real Odie. Odie, how you doing, my friend? Another great coder from back in the day. How you doing, Odie? Mr. Mega Blasters himself. Good to see you, Odie. Um, Dreamy, take care, Dreamy Artist. Hi, uh, good night, Dreamy. Have a great weekend. Take care and good night. Um, so, yeah, Mad Commodore, it will, will work out the box on uh, Plus Machines and GX4000, but if you get the Play 2 CPC, it will work. You can order it with the cartridge. It will work in a normal CPC 464. Uh, Retro Busts, how you doing, Retro Busts? Evening. I'm just playing bingo in the caravan club. I'll probably on later when the missus is asleep. No worries, Rob. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. We'll catch you back here later then. No worries. Uh, we have three cartridges for the formats for the CPC now. These four fans are Play 2 CPC and Dan Daniter. Yeah, I know. It's getting a bit confusing now because it's got Dan Daniter. And it's like, um, which do we all go for? The Dan Danita stuff, I'm kind of out the loop on. I haven't bought any um, of that gear yet. And I'm like, I'm not sure if I should actually. Bottom it says Paul, I've got to, uh, this little looking presser game. Tough one, I hope. Uh, they eventually make the CPR available, but can I complete and send the figures release first for those who got that? I think they'll eventually will, um, but it'll be a few months or something like that. <laughs> Cheap, eh? Good lord. Uh, you advanced to level 50 this week. Level 50 on what, real OD? Right, go on. Let's do this. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Hang on. Alright, we're good. Awesome, got all the stars. This is a good start. What's really cool now is I could just hold down the fire. Oh, that's all right. I could just hold down the fire button. I don't have to keep hammering it. Homing missiles will just keep firing, and the the side the side side fire keeps going as well. That's a nice touch, Avalor. Well done on that. It works like an auto fire. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but like that's cool, Avalor. All I need, to, all I need to think about here is my positioning. 
dropping enemy bullets and stuff. Men. That's okay. Get this little turd here. Got him. Right. Of my damn damn to the play TC is more elegant. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact it's gonna be, that he's gonna be using sort of GX4000 style 3D printed cartridges. It keeps it more Amstrad like the play TC PC. Mm. <laughs> Keeps it in the Amstrad family more, doesn't it? Oh god damn it, I lost my wingmen already. It's okay, it's okay. Blimey. Alright, we've got past the bit we got stuck at before. This bit shouldn't give us any trouble. Yeah, Abelor, that shield doesn't last long. I don't know if it lasts long in the arcade much either, I don't know. Oh no! You could stay pretty much in the middle there. I'm screwed here. I'm so screwed. 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 It starts you right back before the boss here with no power ups. Oh! Duncan Styles, welcome to the stream. 
Welcome. I'm so screwed, I'm so screwed, I'm so screwed, I'm so screwed. Dead center, I think you're safe at a distance. I panicked. If I'd stayed dead center, I would have lived. Stupid boy! Stupid boy! I don't know, OSG! I don't know, I panicked! I've got my speed, maximum speed now. stars. Alright, we've got a chance here boys and girls. We've got a we've got a slim freaking chance. Oh, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I have no chance here. You get swarmed by these. You get swarmed by these. I've got no chance. Oh, one credit left. Look at this. You have no chance. Area 51. Damn it. Hello, Don. How you doing, Don, as well? Is Simmy here? Hey, Simmy. Sorry, Miss saying hello there. At this snow. Look at oh. No. No. You need a star here. You get any stars from any of them. Oh. All right, that was the best one yet. Area fifty, area fifty-one, no less. That's like impossible at that point. <sighs> Damn. Oh. Doing house tricks, dude. Duncan, welcome to the stream as well, mate. How are you doing there? Bit of a slow, bit of a slow down there, possibly. Yeah, yeah. FC, thank you, man. Says don't, says don't forget to give the uh, stream a thumbs up and a like. Yeah, if you've been watching and enjoying the stream, guys, thank you, everyone who's given the stream a like and a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It always, uh, that really, really helps to get the stream pushed by the YouTube, the Google algorithms, and new people find the stream and stuff. Thank you. Got 53 thumbs up and likes so far. Thank you, uh, everyone. 
who's given us a like and a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate that. 55 now. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And girls. <coughs> Cheers. Let me catch up the chat there properly. Um, you've had a man, she was a per Puerto Rican uh, takeout for dinner. Nice. Got the Mets. It's got the meat sweet. Meat sweats. <laughs> um... How you doing, Simmy? What's new with you, man? Any DJing this weekend? I've got my club night on. I'm supposed to be finishing early tonight, because I've got a, I've, I've got one to like 3, 4 in the morning tomorrow. I have to watch the chat and not the screen. I'm on the, uh, on the, on the tanks area. I know, I, I was so close. I got to the tanks area. I got the homing missiles. I don't know why I didn't dodge left. There. Oh, that was a good effort there. I'm getting closer and closer. Did you get a good, a nice going road fighter man shovel? Nice. Did you, uh, did you, uh, did you get to the end? Did you beat the game? Maybe it might be a nice idea to take a break and do a round of mission genocide. I love mission genocide. I think I, I'm. I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust that Alcon 2020 tonight. How many, um, I wonder how many areas there are in, I can't remember how many areas there are in uh, Alcon 2020. Let me check my long play. Alcon 2020 long play Amstrad. Uh, I'm just checking my video here. Eighty. I think there's eighty. Eighty areas. Eighty areas. And we got to area fifty one there. So there you go. Not far off. Thirty areas to go after after that. And they go quite quickly. Getting closer and closer each time. We'll try and do it. I'm just gonna guys, I'm just gonna nip to the fridge and uh, uh get a uh, can of pot from there, can of coke or something from the fridge. I shall be right back in like 30 seconds. Uh, bear with me. Be right back. Oh, actually, I know what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to do something a little bit different, actually. Chiefy. Right, let's give you some Dancing Lord Sugars there. Oh, bananas in the chat there for Chiefy89. Thank you, mate. Let the bananas rain down for Chiefy there. Dude, thank you, mate. Oh, bless you, Chiefy. How you doing, mate? Well, <laughs> thank you, Chiefy. Thank you, mate. Dude. <laughs> Uh, Manchester, I shall watch your uh, video tomorrow, mate. 
A chiefy. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Rachel. Good evening, Rachel. Welcome. Welcome, Rachel. How are you? And Gangrel89. Welcome, Gangrel. How you doing, man, as well? Um... Let me just check my chat there quickly. I'm supposed to be going to a... Oh, uh, Simi says, I'm supposed to be going to a rejuvenation all day tomorrow, but I don't know if I can be bothered getting the train on my own. All oh, right. Uh... <laughs> and Simi says, I'm good, mate. Finally recovered after having a load of friends around yesterday for a barbecue. So you're not DJing yourself then, Simi? You're just relaxing. Sorry for being late, says uh, Gangrel. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, cheers, Chiefy. Welcome, Rachel, and welcome, Gangrel. You are excused for being late. What I'm going to do, guys? Let's play. Let's play some Alcon 2020 on some original. Right, some original Amstrad joysticks. So we got the Star Crew, the Star Cursor. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, the Star Cursor, and we've also got OJ Beezy's Frankenstein Quick Shot Maverick. Which has been converted into um, lovely um, uh, micro switched ones with an ABABA -A -B -B -A switch and also a C selector, but for a third fire button, which you can use for up oh, for jump on, on um, platformers. But anyway, we don't need that for this. But I've been playing. I've been using this on my GX4000, and I found I've been playing really not playing really well using this version. So the problem is, the problem is this joystick, of course, uses the standard nine-pin adapter. But not to worry, not to worry, because if I can just uh, untangle this mess I've got here. Second, OJB's is still about. We he has made me this wonderful. God, hang on, got a right mess of cables now. Right, I think I'll I think I won't use the star cursor for now. Ugh. That's a beautiful joystick. He has made me the Xi adapter. Flipped in the camera, which we can plug the nine pin adapter into. Like so, and it will convert it to a USB and plug that into the PC. Hopefully, it will work. Right. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, it will work. I think we had to use joy to key to get this to work before. So, that's key at. Ah, this might not work in here. So far, it's not recognised it. That's a bit worrying. Ah, it might not work. Sugar, that's not a good. That's not a good sound. That's really not working very well. Wow. What the hell's up with this? This is actually on the Amstrad. I don't know why the capture's not refreshed. 
I'm actually, I'm actually on the Amstrad's basic screen here, and it's going mental. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about this. Oh. Oh, this only works in Win8. Oh, I remember now. I could only get this working in Win8. And I promised Toto and Abelor that I'd only use this in CPCEC because it emulates the six channel sound and also it has a brighter colour palette. Oh. Okay, I, I, I'll use my uh, other joystick that I was using earlier. Okay, I just thought it'd be fun to use... Um, to be honest, I played better on this than I did my other joystick. Okay, okay. Okay, never mind. I thought it'd be nice to use like some old school hardware to play it on. I'll just I'll, I'll just use this one again. Okay, never mind, never mind. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Never mind, never mind. Even if I couldn't play it on a real GX4000 tonight, I thought I could play it on a real old school joystick, but... Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Hey, uh, let me just bring that back up. Cover that over a second. Okay, okay, we're sorted. Sorry about that, guys. Never mind. I'll, I'll try and I'll try and talk to OJBs about that. Never mind. You were sounding like a fax machine, Matt Myers. Good evening, Max. Uh, Matt, how you doing? Zaya's busted his virtual AY there. Sounding like eight bit Atari loading. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. What could be better than old 8-bit flip sounds? Oh. Don't worry, Toto. I won't play it on Win8. Uh, we could get those joysticks working on uh, Win8 because Win8 allows you to um, map, like, joystick to, like, keyboard, uh, like, keyboard mappings in Win8. Uh, CPC EC doesn't have that function. So we can like basically use Joy to Key, a program in Windows that maps joystick inputs to like keyboard keys, and then sort of map, map, map to map to map stuff. Anyway, doesn't matter. We, we, we'll, we'll use. I'll use my original joystick. Never mind. Oh, I do that thing again. I know people like CPC EC emulator, it's very, very good. But CPC EC emulator still has a lot of work to go. Uh, a lot of missing features that Win8 has and, and stuff I'm used to in Win8. But man, I wish uh, Win8 had kept up with its development. Oh my god, really? Well, let me start again, go on. I'm not doing too bad, Matt. I've still got like a horrible cold at the moment. Old boys are more right. Sounded like a Sid chip. <laughs> you do know OSG's on the stream.
Oh, sh sugar. Anyway, uh, we don't see, we don't, we don't, doesn't seem to be versatile the joystick in part. Uh, it's any more versatile than CPC EC, and definitely way more than the uh, retro version machine. At least a publicly available version, anyway. Retrobay! This looks really good. Yes! Probably the best arcade conversion on the Amstrad ever. B speed up is very tricky, I only use two. It, I, originally I only I only used two Toto, and I think this is B speed up is essential later on. It's now my go-to. Uh, yeah, it's right, so I only use CPC EC for this plus stuff anyway, as I missed a lot of the features I use that piece forever. I use Win8, but it goes nuts when I try it in full screen mode. Never go full screen in Win8, ever. Ever, never use full screen mode in Win8. Ever, 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 ever. <laughs> what I do like about Win8 is um, it's direct X stretch feature, to stretch the right side. And when you close it and reopen it, it remembers how that size. That's quite a, that's quite a cool thing when it does actually. Yeah, Retrobate has a great channel, as OSG says. Close. And guys, I can't stress actually enough that this looks even. Oh, for God's sakes! This looks even better on a real Amstrad monitor. For once, I actually um, say that is a, that is true. Now, I've had I've had graphics artists in the past say, "Oh, my my uh, game has been designed to look." the best on an Amstrad monitor and I'm like yeah right mate okay sure whatever <laughs> um, honestly it is absolutely true in this case it absolutely looks so much better it looks great already but honestly this looks even better on I need to concentrate on an Amstrad Beth, uh, on an Amstrad real monitor. I can't, I can't describe it. I'm using the CM14, which is a plus, the plus monitor, and uh, I, I, I can honestly say it does look like better on it. I don't know what it is. Something about the stippling, I, I, I don't know, and the, and just how the pixels just glow on it. I, 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 I can't describe it. It just looks better. Really, 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 really does. Um, I don't know what I'm. Go I don't know what's going on with me here tonight. Bloody hell! This looks good. No complaints from me from a Jason Rachel. Um, honestly, Rachel, best arcade conversion ever. I think if I ever did a top ten best arcade conversions on the Amstrad, this is getting number one. Does anyone disagree with me? Uh, I mean, you know I love Chase HQ, but I can't honestly put that number one when you've got something like this. Um... But does it run on a 464? Yes, this will, Rachel. Now, sorry, if you missed the start of the stream, this is a cartridge release. Uh, uh, this is the last time I, I'm going to open the box because uh, I want to keep this box nice. But this comes in a cartridge format. This is like the GX4000 cartridge. I'm sure you've seen the GX4000 cartridge before, Rachel. But if not, this is basically a GX4000 cartridge. But you can order this. With um, a thing called Play to CPC, which is like an expansion little card, expansion card, and you plug this in the Play to CPC expansion card thing, and then that plugs into the back of the, your CPC, right? And it this will run on a normal CPC four six four, six six four, four seven two. 
6128, whatever, right? Any Amstrad, and it will run, and it will play. It might cost you a bit of extra money, but it will run. Uh, exclamation more Alcon 2020. You just have to specify with your order that you'll need a Play 2 CPC. Otherwise, that cart will plug into a GX4000 or 464 Plus or 6128 Plus and play normally. But if you get the Play 2 CPC, it's a special, it's a special expansion thing. It also comes with um, an extra three channels of sound. So you'll have six channels of sound on your Amstrad as well, right? So not only do because the Amstrad normally only has three channels of sound. Can you hear right now? Can you hear six channels of sound? So you've got three channels of music, but can you hear sound effects with the music? That is six channels of sound on the Amstrad happening right now. That's thanks to that. Currently emulating that, well, that's what you'll hear the Play 2 CPC with this car plugged into a 464, 664, 6208, all that rare Spanish variant, the 472. Isn't that amazing, Rachel? <laughs> I sound like I sound like a salesman for the game now, but it is true. It's true. Let's just pause it there. I'll just pause it there a second and catch up the chat there. Um, I love seeing the Tower Plan logo in an Amstrad game. Where have you seen that man, Shivel? This is a Tato game, isn't it? I thought um, Alcon was a Tato game. I imagine this was on the GX back in the 90s. Oh, oh, imagine that. Might have sold some units then. Why are you saying Pit Fighter Retro on Lim? <laughs> oh, for best arcade conversions. Oh, Jesus. Chase HQ probably runs about 11 or 12 FPS. I think me and, um, me and like, uh, who was it? Devil Marcus sat down and ran it through Java CPC, which has like an FPS counter. And it was like somewhere around like 11 or 12 FPS, which is really low. Which is really low. Um, but, you know, it's, when you start playing it, you, after a while, you don't kind of notice how low it goes, really. But, yeah. Um, there you go. I can testify to that. I've got the Play 2 CPC and Alcon 2020 run on my 464. I'm an Amstrad CPC 464. It's refreshing to turn on my 464 and have it instantly running. Wow. Wow. Oh, Toa Plan developed it. Tato published it. Oh, right. Sorry. Right. My bad. It has the logo at the start and Tato as a publisher. Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Excuse me, pardon me. Cool. Uh, Slapfight and Alcon are from Toa Plan. Oh, I, my bad. My bad. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I got that wrong. I got that wrong. No worries. No worries. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Right, here we go.
Hey, there we go. back keep my eyes out for bullets in this uh, area I'm not seeing Z80 is hot. How's I got through the night? I've got this game. Practice map, practice. You'll get used to it. A lot of this, a lot of this is a memory test. They all, all the enemies all spawn in the same places. Shield on the oh. Is Alcon 2020. I'm a loving mine. Lewis Wallington, or the Waddo, the lovely Lou. How you doing, Lou? Hi, thank you, matey. Hey, where's my dancing Lord Sugars? Why didn't they trigger there, Lou? Thank you very much for the five of there, mate, and the lovely message. How you doing, my fellow Ams fan? Bananas in the chat there! Exclamation mark bananas and exclamation mark doggo as well. For Lou. How you doing, mate? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it, Lewis? Mwah. It, it is. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And we're trying to beat it tonight, if we can. If we can. Thank you, Lou. That's very, very kind of you, mate. How you doing, sir? Thank you very, very, very much there. One last chance for some bananas in the chat for the lovely Lewis there. Thank you, Lou. Actually, I could have a little break here before the, hot, the really tough bit here. <laughs> good to see you mate Anna Apocalypse Zero as well good evening Anna and a Rintendo has appeared as well good evening Rintendo welcome my, fr welcome, my friend as well <laughs> um, oh Avalor says all the Tenno should be on Alcon 2020 and play 2 CPC was doable in the 80s and I honestly think Amsa should have added a cartridge port expansion to the CPC 
Yeah, I mean, um, even the, uh, even the uh, Spectrum essentially had cartridge games as well in its early days. Hmm. I can't deal with these streamers who don't research the games properly, Zypho. This old style gaming. You know I do a fair amount of research normally. I do a lot of bloody research for my videos. You should see the reams of like uh, the, the notepad documents I do for my videos, OSG. Freaking hours and hours of research. Sometimes though. Anyway, like. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Anyway. Uh, sometimes the streams though don't always do a lot of research. But anyway. Um, <laughs> thank you again, Lou. That's awesome. Anna, how you doing, Anna? Good to see you. Rintendo, what's new with you, my friend? Um, Lewis says, doing great. Just been to the Arcade Club Blackpool. Friends and family preview night. It's uh, absolutely awesome, mate. Definitely need an Amsquad meetup there. Definitely, mate. Definitely. Well, it's, we're starting to get closer to round... Um, well, it's getting well, a few months away. Well, it looks like probably play Blackpool is probably going to be the time we all meet up there again, probably. But you never know. The summer's coming around. Maybe I can get a sneaky trip up there. I need to blow my nose, guys. One second. Sorry. But yeah, I'd love to get up there, mate. I'd love to get up there. It's a bit of a trek from Nottingham, sadly. But yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Rintendo says, I'm watching the kids play sports. I'm having a cheeky watch of the Amstrad stream. Good man, Rintendo. Good man. Why, have you got something extra special happening there at the moment in the arcade club? Ah, uh, yes, we could do the road trip to the RMC Retro, the cave. That's another, another thing we need to do as well. Oh. And uh, you'd be all sorry if Cypher drew a bad emoji of you. <laughs> He's still not about OSG's em emoji, GP. OSG doesn't even know how much you're going on about that in our Discord. He doesn't even read our Discord, um, does OSG, GP. <laughs> um, what's been going on in the arcade club that's so special than other than, than usual? Um, there is. Right, I'm going to pause my music. We're just at a critical critical point here. Let's hope I don't immediately get wrecked. Right, are we ready? You reckon it's Paul Andrews, says I mentioned. Oh, it's his emote, right. It's just a preview night. Would love to visit the RMC. Uh, okay. Pre what, pre what, what are you previewing? Have you got something special lined up there, Lou? What's, what's, what's coming up? Right, here we go. Three, two, one... Oh, we're okay. We're okay. These things are evil because they take two hits to kill. Oh! God. One more start to get a shield. I've used the shield too early. Damn it! Do the horrible bit with no power ups now. God! Sorry for the strange noises, but I just got a. Oh! Although. Although it's actually put me back a few areas, that's weird.
No, we don't want the side. We want the bloody... Sod off! Ugh. Okay, we're all right. We'll need the homing missiles. Need about one, two, three, four stars. Toto says take the wing. Mm. No, I think we need homing missiles. Mind the crabs. One more start. Now we're good. God damn it. God. Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> bloody timing on these. <laughs> Johnny Leroy. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny Leroy. Don't get shot, Zypho. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Who's that? Man shovel, bloody hell, man shovel, the timing. That was man shovel, just checking, checking on my phone there. It's giving me hiccups there as well. Man shovel, thank you very, very, very much for the one pound dono. Top tip, don't get shot, Zypho. Thank you, man shovel. Bananas in the chat from Mr. Man shovel there. Thank you. <laughs> Be careful, Zypho, you don't want to get crabs. No, I don't want that either. Thank you, um, Johnny. Yeah, where's Johnny Boy gone? 80s Retro Gamer. Good evening, 80s Retro Gamer as well. Um, oh, is this off? Hang on. Uh, someone said uh, Night Night CPC Game Reviews. Hang on. Have I missed that? Distraction. I was already paused. <laughs> this is a dino distraction. <laughs> ah, I was already paused, Mr. Mr. Lewis Wado. I was already paused, so <laughs> thank you, Lou. <laughs> Bananas in the chat for Mr. Lewis Waddo there, even though it was already paused. Ah, you got the timing wrong. But thank you, Lou. <laughs> thank you, Lou. <laughs> thank you, mate. Uh, thank you, Manshubble, as well there. Uh, did I miss saying goodnight to uh, CPC Game Reviews? Oh, I did, actually. Sorry. Where was that? Oh, uh, and this says, I'm going to bed off. Uh, I'm going to head off now, as so I plan to get up a bit earlier tonight, uh, tomorrow. Good night, everyone. I hope you get some somehow some the Alcon 2020 Zypho. It's one tough game at 25 FPS. Yes. I, I think we've been moving a bit slower before. Maybe it made it easier or something. Hmm. 
Good night, Nish. Anyway, take care, man. I think you probably already headed off to bed, actually. Uh, take care, man. Have a great weekend. Um, Mansha, well, I'd love to hang out with you in New York. New York? I would love to, mate. I would freaking love to. <laughs> Whoa! Henri! Henry! Bonsoir! Salut, Henry! Thank you. Oh, Henry! Good to see you, my friend. Oh, it's like the French invasion. I can't believe how great this game looks and sounds. It's amazing, isn't it, Henri? It's good to see you again, Henri. How are you doing, my friend? Um, thank you for the six, six, four there. Have, a, have an extra dancing Lord Sugar there. Bananas in the chat there for Henri. Wow. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Um, enjoy your bananas there, Henri. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? Good to see you again, dude. I've been meaning to message you, actually, to talk about your, um, uh, ocular migraines and stuff. You had some advice from me. I, I shall do that in the week, probably. How you doing, my friend? Welcome as well. <laughs> and thank you very, very, very much, mate. That was extremely generous of you there as well. As well, you, Mansha, and as well, you, Lewis, as well. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, Andy, UK Monkey, good to see you again, mate. Welcome. And OSC says, that item there looks like a mis misformed Millie's cookie. It does look like a cookie. Chocolate chip cookie island there. It does. Excavation what pudding in the chat. <laughs> um, and there was, uh, sorry, I missed someone there. 80s Retro Gamer, good evening as well. I think I said hello to you, I think. Um, yes, right, okay. Right, quick swig of my drink, and then we're going to carry on, try not to get wrecked here. Oh, yeah, we want to activate the wing power up here. Right, here we go. Uh, and try not to die. Try not to die. Here we go. We're okay. We survived. Oh, God. They took about two hits to kill these things. Oh, bloody hell! Stop it! <laughs> Look over there! With the one pound! <laughs> oh, no. Pause or and pause. Ewoks have large paws. Ugh. Mr. Craig! Craig's Bar Harrison, thank you for the one pound. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> thank you, Craig. Thank you very, very, very much. Will you expertly time that there on a bloody horrible, horrible bit of the level? <laughs> this is the the, the hard furthest I've got on the bloody game as well. Thank you, Craig. Bananas in the chat there for Craig. Right. No more distractions. Oh, God, those bloody emotes at Lewis there. Right. And also the Ewok, Ewok um, abuse there as well. Ah! God damn it! Whoa, Black Duke! Holy moly! Wow, the four, six, four. Black Duke, thank you very, very, very. Oh! Oh! Black Duke, thank you for the 464 there. That's very, very, very kind and generous of you there. So, it's enjoying the stream. Quick wild pause. Thank you, Black Duke. Can I just say you're too hunky for YouTube? <laughs> Sorry. I could be cough. <coughs> GP, Mr. Mr. Pat McNoll's GP. Thank you very, very much for the three pounds there as well. 
Bananas in the chat there for uh, Black Duke there. Thank you very, very, very much uh, for the uh, 464 there. Blimey. Thank you very, very much. Get some fireworks as well there. GP, thank you for very much for the three pounds there. It's very kind of you as well, GP. Um, too honky for YouTube. Wow, thank you. Excuse me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Rintendo! Oh, you really didn't have to. Rintendo! <laughs> The Australian was that Australian free uh, three dollars ninety nine <laughs> through the super chat. Whoa! <laughs> and Spears has donated one pound as well. What's go? What's going on? Oops! I did it again. Is that Britney Spears? Who's that? My, I look at my phone. Uh, that's Lewis pretending to be Britney Spears. That L Lou with pigtails in a dress. That's that's, that's conjured up a weird image in my brain there, Lewis. Um, thank you, <laughs> Lewis. Thank you uh, very, very, very much. There as well. Bananas in the chat. Nintendo. Thank you very, very much as well. It's very, very kind of you. Bananas in the chat there. Thank, thank goodness. Are we? Have to, oh God! I think Res, Lord Respergu is coming through with a hot dog. <coughs> All these bloody distractions. I know. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'll mute the mic. Sorry, I'm having a coughing fit now. Hang on. Oh. Lord Respergu. Lord Respergu, thank you for the $1.49 there as well. Thank you, Lord Respergu. Thank you, Respergu. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Exclamation mark bananas in the chat there. For Lord Respergu. The bananas rain down one last time. <laughs> Thank you guys for that um, uh, moments of craziness there. Oh my goodness. I need to blow my nose now. One second, guys. Right, sorry about that. Right, can we get on with the game now? Right, can we carry on? Can we carry on? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I think there's another one coming through. <coughs> Sorry. Pliskin's Ghost. Love the, love the name. Wow. Ooh, we just, do you know what? We, we, it says, gotta smoke. <laughs> we literally watched, me and Mrs. Zypho just watched Escape from L.A. again, like, the other weekend. What a movie. And Escape from New York is awesome, of course. The better film, of course. Thank you, Pliskin's Ghost, for the 2 99 there. And the bananas rained down. Thank you very, very much, Pliskin's Ghost. Uh, I don't know if you're a new person to the stream or someone else under a different YouTube account. But that's from here. I don't think you'll ever finish this game. Doubtful. Doubtful, isn't it? Oh my god, please, guys. <laughs> Bloody hell. <sighs> please, Can mister. Get on with the game now. Can we please? Uh, who's that then? Thank you, uh, please, mister. <laughs> that was... Craig's... Uh, Craig Bar... Craig's Bar Harrison. Mr. Craig Harrison. 
thank you for the four pounds there. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Decides the day, no Zyper. I suppose I could actually. I can do that. Bananas in the chat. One last time there. Thank you, Craig's bar. Thank you, Craig. Right, I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna start it. Right. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Um, I don't think. I. I, I don't think. Um, uh, Escape from LA was a complete ass candle. Uh, I think the. Spe oh my goodness. Really? Hang on. Take it easy, mate. Thank you very. All right. I'm just. I'm not gonna do the dancing sugars and bananas thing. I'm just gonna say thank you. Take it easy, mate. Just go easy. To to his right. Uh, jolly. That was. Thank you, jolly. Thank you for the one pound there. It says just go easy. Toto is right. Thank you, Jolly. That's Jolly looking at my emails there. Thank you very, very much, Jolly. I'm going to crack on because... Um... Oh, God. Otherwise, we're never going we're never gonna to get any gameplay going. Thank you, Jolly. Bananas in the chat for Jolly there. Thank you, Jolly. Is that, was that a Toto song that's from or something? Guys, we've now got... This is the furthest we've got in the game tonight. And I just got wrecked after all that time. Oh, no. And the one... And this, we'll never get past this bit. I will never get past this bit. We're just like no power ups. We just needed to get to the next restart bit, but we cannot get past these tanks without any power ups. So, after all that, it's ruined. We're gonna have to start all over again. Jolly, thank you, uh, thank you for the one pound there, Jolly. Well, thank you. Smile, just about thirty areas to go. Thank you, Jolly. Thank you. That's very kind, Jolly. Thank you. Bananas in chat for Jolly. Oh, I spelt it wrong there. I've got my caps locks broken there. Thank you, Jolly. Thank you very, very much, mate. Cheers, dude. Thank you for another pound there. That's really, that's kind of you, dude. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I've got continues. I could try, but it, it, it's it, this is impossible. This bit, it's it, this bit is in, it, it just completely impossible because you know he just swarms by um, these tanks. I I don't know any way of doing it apart from just pure. Blind look. I mean, you just move it too slow, and you don't get. See, th th this is the only thing I'd say is in the arcade, when you die, you get given a when you respawn on your next life, you get given a power up, like you get given like a star given to you, and you can choose to use it on a speed power up. So you be get you, you would be given a speed power up here to use unfortunately you're not and you're and instead you're downgraded a speed you downgraded to the eventually to nothing and you're at, you're at your lowest speed and that section there is just impossible to do so maybe if there is a, a future update on this toto or abalor you might want to adjust that because that, that that's just uh, impossible to do without having that star given to you and your choice to use it and, you, and expend it on a speed power up. Does that make sense? Like the arcade version, you need to have the ability to use that pat star power up on speed because that's that, that 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 section is just impossible. But um, anyway, the speed power up alternates and starting after death. 
Mm. I might be I might be wrong on that then if that, what happened to the arcade. But we had a look at it earlier on the stream. Give it another go anyway. I, I want to crack on on another run. I want I want to do this tonight. Uh, but seriously though guys, thank you for the um, all those uh, all, all the donos there. <laughs> that was going that was going nuts and crazy there. As I'm so earlier that you can use one speed up power up when you die. Yeah, but it went down to nothing. Like all the speed power trick. All my speed power ups. Uh, eventually, I went down to zero. Like my speed was down to zero. Hang on, uh, why, why did Black Duke's message get, got, got deleted there? Sorry Black Duke, I don't know why your message got deleted there, I think that must have been a misclick there. Yes, that's it, uh, when you die you lose one speed level. I think, yeah. Unfortunately, that makes that section impossible. Completely impossible. I don't know whether you want to tweak that other law. I don't know, but it's too late now, really. <laughs> I suppose. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Bet Charlie Farr could do it. I, I, I don't know on that one. I don't know on that one. That that um, area 51 level. Woo, excuse me. Right. Okay, we're good. We're good here now. So we've got the side, the wing. After getting the um, I mean missiles, and we're good. We've got all the stars, so it should be on course. Getting the um, shield power up right before the first light like, boss. Us. We just lost our wingmen. Ah, we'll be all right. Uh, there's 80 levels in the game, uh, in uh, in the uh, game, Black Duke. Got shield ready.
go. Would this version be considered Alcon 2022? <laughs> Fair point, man, Shovel. Fair point. We'll get the wingmen there, yeah. Sugar. Try not to swear there. We're good. Uh, yeah, nice words there from Lewis to Avalor. Couldn't agree, uh, couldn't agree more there. Thank you, Avalor, for making this wonderful, wonderful product. And Toto as well. That. Oh no! I, sh I thought I was safe there just to look away and talk to the chat. I'll be able to pull this back here. Oh, we'll see. Oh, that's pretty. God damn it! Shoot. Can't even see that bullet there. My God, how did I survive that? We're still in it, boys. We're still in it, boys and girls. I, I don't know how the frick we're still in it, but we are. Wow. No lives left.
freaking way! I was in the middle there, and I was just the oh. I'm gonna. I'll carry on. Wrong distance away. A bit tin shed. How you doing, A bit tin shed? Oh, okay. Let's get a speed up and then homing missiles. Still doable. It's still doable. life. Two more. Oh. Alright, one one more star to get the homing missile. We've just got to survive until the next one of those. There it is. And we died. I'm screwed. Oh, uh, it, uh, it was a good run, guys. GG's. We're, we're screwed now. We're not going to get another homing missile in time before we get to Area 51 with all the tanks. So, that's a rip. I don't think so. Anyway. Starting, uh, no, not continuing with that run. Right, let's catch up with the chat for a bit anyway. Oh, killed by the spinny egg. Got the spicy flu, says a bit tincher, but using time to work on those Zynax collisions. Oh, are you working on them? Um, I know um, Jonah was working on bits for this. Uh, was working at the. Uh, Zynaps on the Amst the Amstrad version of Zynaps and working on bits of that. You're, are you working on that as well, 8 bit team shares? The Amstrad Zynaps game, and was trying to fix the collision detection on that. Lewis says, the son of the game is when you feel it's your fault that you died. I think this game does that in spades, Zypho. Yes! Yes, I think so. Soto wants me to play it on easy. Oh, I want to. I want to. All right then. Shall we? Pl shall we put it on the easy mode? Uh. All right. Let's see what it's like on easy. What's the difference on easy? I, I, I don't think I... Alright. Shh, shh. Okay, that was just me being uh, sloppy. That was just me being sloppy there. Right. Okay. What's it? I, 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 I don't think I ever played the original game on easy. So I wonder what the differences are. You need to see that, chat. Shut up. Shut up, chat! <laughs>
but I'm not noticing much difference. I've not met, I've not noticed any difference so far. Are there any cheats? There still there is. Seriously though, uh, what, what is the difference between medium and easy? Oh my god! Uh. Oops, I hit the st I hit um, fire, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Needs the enemies fire a bit less. Oh, okay. God, and he died there again. I think I'm just a bit frustrated, and I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to rush. I'm trying to rush it now. I'm trying to rush the early stages because I know I can get a lot higher. Urgh. Right, come on now. Concentrate. Oh my god! Why am I taking silly risks? So stupid. Come on! Jiffa probably mapped the game out in 1988. Deep <laughs> is more comfortable no matter what you're comparing it to. Uh, Jolly. Uh, CT has the same horror. Oh god, hang on. I probably should read that in a little bit. I don't have my full speed up actually at the moment. Oops. Oh, and I missed the homing missiles. I'm an idiot. Oh. If 
say something else for a bit, then come back to it fresh as I vote. Maybe. 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 Um, maybe I should. But then again, I might have to finish soonish anyway. Because I've got. I, I have to. I can't have a late finish tonight. Take it a break for a minute. Oh, why is it doing this? I didn't hit fire button. Right, I'm taking a break for a minute. I'm gonna get another drink from the fridge. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Right, all right, guys and girls, I had a wee and I had a walk around my kitchen and I'm back. Right, I feel better after that. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God, I'm having a coughing fit again. Right, sorry about that. Oh, God, now I need to blow my nose again, Jesus. Wish this cough would go away. Hang on one second, guys.
Right. We'll have some. We'll have, we will have some more runs on this. But I thought maybe we can have a little break for a minute and talk about something else just for a little bit. Um, if I can find something. Um, let me see if my login still works for this. Oh, for God's sakes, hang on. I've got this, um... Yes, okay. Right, let me see if I could do something here, guys. Um, right, it doesn't need this right this. Hmm. Lucas! Good evening, Mr. Lucas Rainford. How you doing, mate? And Andrea, the lovely Andrea's here. Hey, Andy, how's it going? How's the family? No, I didn't go to sleep. No, Toto. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. What the fuck? What is this thing? Uh... Jesus. Right, we're gonna. Oh, this site is a pain in the ass. Remember this. Um, uh, this is a pain in the ass setup. Hang on, let me just find this. Bear with me a second, guys. Oh, God, I wish this site was easier to use. Um okay, okay. Right, okay. This might take ages to do. All right, okay. I thought it would be cool. We talked about this earlier. It feel it kind of um, ties in with um, Alcon 2020. I thought my, what might be cool is if we have a little discussion on like what 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 are the very best like Amstrad CPC coin up conversions, right? Because at some point. I would like to do um, a video of like the top 10 or top 20 arcade coin up conversions to the Amstrad. And um, we, have, we have a website where you can create tier lists and like we can, you, you guys, we, we can shape like, um, like a, a tier list by moving images around on the screen and you can say like you higher or lower on the tier list you can, and I can quickly move images around to do that. Um, Edge Cross has a feature in that, says Craig. Um, that Donkey Kong sure needs to top that list. It would have done in the past. It would have done in the past. Ah, oh, is this shy on the page? God, this pay, uh, this site is just full of like crap adverts, man. Ugh. Oh my god, the page is just lost. Oh no, it just lost everything I just created. Oh god, this site sucks. It's just like lost everything I just created. Oh 
Oh my god. Okay, actually, um... Can I do this again? Oh, it wants me to upload images. To do it. Uh, okay. Photo, browse, no images selected. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, let's try and do so. Uh, maybe I could do something here. Maybe I can do something here. Uh, okay, can we find a Donkey Kong image? Like, Donkey Kong must be on here somewhere. There he is. Right, okay, just give me a, just give me one more minute here and maybe we can start cracking on this. Uh, it might be a cool thing to just talk about and ch uh, and chill with. Oh, have I not got an image of Donk? You kidding me? All right, let's try Rainbow Islands. That's that will do. I thought this would be really quick and easy to do. It it, tur it turns out it's clearly not. A set of images. What? What? Oh god, this site sucks ass! Oh! I have to have the images all in one folder. I can't. Oh! This is a terrible freaking website. How they? How, how is this website gonna make any money? Oh! Uh, oh God! We're getting the bots coming in and now as well. This is uh, this is amazing. Right. It's not my night tonight. Okay. No. No. Whoever designed this website needs to, needs to, uh, needs to um. Oh my god, needs to, have, needs to go on like a web design course. Holy shoot. Oh, okay, alright, might have a way of doing this actually. That, and maybe that, that might work. Will that work? Will that, come on, come on, come on website, will this work? Will you allow me to start? Sort of. It sort of has allowed me. Right. What's all my? Uh, okay. Do you know? What? I think I'm just. I'm just going to abandon this. Why don't you just tell me? Uh, uh. So what we can do is. What, I'm, uh, what what we had before is say like if I just pop over to a browser. I'll just pause the Alcon thing for a second. Like we had a Roland game thing, and then we we did a tier list for the Roland games. So like if you gave me like a list of arc, uh, arcade conversions, we could put like what was what's the best Roland game? We had say like we had Roland on the ropes down here. We could put Roland on the ropes up here. We can move that up here and that up there. Blah blah blah. So we could start moving like Chase HQ will be a list here. Alcon 2020 at the top. Um, Rainbow Islands down here. Smash TV. Um, R Type here. And so forth and so forth. Um, I've got all the images for all the games and I could quite easily add them, but the problem is this tier list site wanted all the images in one folder to be uploaded all at one time. And I can't get them all organised in one folder. It would take me hours to all find them. So anyway, just just to ignore. So you have a tier list, S tier, which is the top tier, A, B, C, D, and so forth. And we could start arguing and discussing like which should be right at the very top. So at S tier, you'd have Alcon 2020, Chase HQ, 
Uh, Donkey Kong as at the very, very best arcade conversions of the Amstrad. We might argue that the R-Type 128K one is here in A tier. Um, maybe you put Chase HQ in there. Maybe you put Weclamons. C B tier, you might put Grizor, we'd argue. Uh, uh, Ikari Warriors and stuff like that. We'd we'd have discussions about that and we'd we'll say like, oh no, put um, Hit Fighter in C tier and, and so forth. And we could easily shift them around if we disagreed and stuff. It might have been a fun thing to do just for 10 minutes. But it's turning out to be a bloody nightmare because this site freaking sucks. Anyway. But, um, Afterburner was a great conversion. FC Den Haag. Good night, FC Den Haag. Sorry I missed you there, dude. Have a good weekend. <laughs> yeah, Anna, it's working out really, really well. I thought this I thought this would be a quite good thing to do on the fly. But, um, no, it's something you have to set up quite, um, for about an hour before, um, before the stream. Uh, Pirate Daz, how you doing, Pirate Daz? <laughs> Welcome, mate. How you doing, dude? And take care, um, FC. Have a good weekend, mate. Um, so what, 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 what would be? Anyway, just quickly then, what would be your best RK conversions, guys? Um, and I'll start making a note of these anyway. Renegade, yes, Renegade. I'd say Operation Wolf should be right up there. Um, Ikari Warriors, Rizor, I think the very best ones are Donkey Kong, Chase HQ, I'm looking at my, uh, where, where I'm looking at the moment is my shelf of games at the moment, I love Charlene's Roadman Shovel but I don't think it's one of the best, Yeehaw Kung Fu though is a good shout, Strider, I don't think that's a great conversion Anna, do you really think it is? Super Hang On, not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Knock isn't that good. Retro Boss. Uh, Al, just missed lots of Alcon. We're just talking about the best arcade conversions on the Amstrad. Mr. Heli, Robin Hook. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, Craig there with Afterburner. I think that's a cracking conversion. Metro Cross, I think he's all right. I think that's all right. I don't think it's one uh, right at the top, but Donkey Kong, yes, hundred percent. Smash TV, decent, yeah, I'd say. Gauntlet, I'm not the biggest fan of Gauntlet generally, but I think that is a good conversion. Werewolves of London wasn't an arcade coin up though. Paperboy was in is in with a shout. The only problem with Paperboy is it's completely bloody silent. Yeah, Ikari Warriors. That's got to be right up there. Oh god, Robocop. You'll get a uh, you'll uh, you'll get you'll get Robo uh, old old style gaming triggered there because he, he he was inundated with people. Well, a couple of like people going, you can't have Robocop. That's not a proper arcade conversion. I think it is. I think Robocop is, a, is an arcade conversion. It was worked cons on, alongside each other with Data East at the same time. But the arcade version came out first. And they took bits from each other. But uh, I think Ocean took a lot from the arcade version. Obviously, he goes to Donkey Kong, Chase HQ, Renegade, Alcon, Operation Wolf. Oh, that scramble conversion. Yes. Yes. R-Type. Yep. Ro uh, Robocop. Mr. Heli. Yep. Someone mentioned that earlier. Commando. Totally agree with you there. I love Commando on the Amstrad. Bubble Bobble for CPC. People forget about that one. That was bloody good. Bomb Jack. I love Bomb Jack on the Amstrad. Double Dragon. Um, the Richard Applin versions. Rainbow Islands, P47 was bloody good, Arkanoid was bloody good, yes. I think Space Harriers in the Vishout was w as well. Um, Golden Axe was alright, I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but like, a lot of people are. Joe Khalil, hey Joe Khalil, how you doing mate? Um, Yee Kung Fu, yeah a couple of people have mentioned that, I think that is a good, con yeah. 
I think you, yeah, I think you are confused in the shout as well. That's from your video, yeah. OSG, yeah. Marble Madness. Mm, I don't think it was a great conversion, that. I don't know. I haven't played it in a while. How you doing, Joe? Just finish your shift at the pub. Uh, Ghost of Goblins. Mm, there's a lot missing from it. I like it. I like the music in it. Puzzle Bobble, of course. That's going to get have to get in there. Yeah. Rampage. That was pretty good as well. Yeah. It goes... It, Puzzle Bobble does go its own way, though, doesn't it? Mmm. But it's still very close to the arcade, I think. Mmm. Hey, no worries, Daz, if it's a flying visit. Road Blasters. That was a good conversion as well. I think it's a good arcade conversion. Even if it just even if the game just bloody go on for too long. Hmm. Yeah. Is there a way I could put up a list of games somewhere? We could uh Make me I can make a list. Start putting the list together. And then uh, we can finish this off another night. Maybe do a stream of it. Get display capture. Yeah, I can it. Yeah, I'll do that then. Hang on. There we go. Uh, so, got. Oh, you can't really see that very well. Operation, so we've got Operation Wolf. I like that. Um, we'll put. Oh, so we got definitely got Alcon Twenty Twenty, uh, Donkey Kong. I think that those those kind of the ones at the top there. Chase, Chase HQ. Can you guys see that, or is that too small? Do you know what I'll do? Actually, let's. Say I'll open it in a Word doc. And I'll make the text large. That'll be better. On Jack, some suggested. Uh, yeah, we've got Ar Arkanoid. That was a good, good shout there. I don't think New Zealand Story is a good conversion at all. That graphics are terrible on New Zealand Story. A couple of people like uh, shouting out, um, uh, ye, ye are, uh, Kung Fu, weren't they? Ping Pong. Yes, that's a great conversion. My, my, Mikey conversion was terrible, though. Really, Craig? What's your reason for uh, Mikey? Of course, you've got Puzzle Bubble. Um, bubble Bubble... For CPC, oh yes, Scra uh, scramble. That scramble conversion was awesome. We'll go up to the top there. Uh, yeah, so we got as Renegade. Uh, oh yeah, R type. The R type 128k. Yeah, Mr. Helly. That was bloody good. Smash TV. A lot of people like that one. I, I think that's good. I don't know if it gets... Mm, yeah, okay. Okay, I'll keep that in. Commando. Ikari. Warriors. Just felt wrong. Sorted. DPC. Okay. Oh, yeah. Double Dragon. Richard Applin. Ones. Rainbow Islands, yeah, oh yeah, P47, I think it's called for Thunderbolt on the Amstrad, Arcanite, I think we've got that in the list, Space Harrier, mm. I don't know about that one, I don't know about Space Harrier, 
Uh, oh yeah, Grizzle. Oh, after did we get afterburner on the list? Afterburner. I think that's decent. Put Robocop in there. Where are we up to? Uh, Zevius? I didn't think that was a. I didn't think that was that particularly good. Star Wars. So there's uh, none of the abyss. It wasn't bad. I'll, I'll pop it on the list. I'll pop it on the list. And I think we'll come back and do a stream of all these and work it out. Uh, hey, good night, Pirate Daz. Um, it was pretty quiet for the Jubilee weekend. I thought the pubs might be around this weekend, Joe. Have I got to be worried? So I've got my DJ night tomorrow night. Um, Space Panic. Uh, it was not that God, I don't know. Um, alien syndrome. Oh, that was horrible on the Amstrad. How oh, Jeff Pang? I'll go Weklamons. Rover Power Drift. I think. Oh, um, Continental Circus. Con. Just spelt wrong. Continental Circus. Yeah, I've got Bomb Jack on the list, definitely. Clax? Does anyone care about Clax? Get for the Planet of the Robot Monsters. It is that was an arcade conversion. Does anyone care about that one? I don't think you can count Lemmings. Toki. <laughs> Not out yet. Wish they bloody released that. Pathland. Mm, didn't scroll Pathland. Single screen. It ruined it for me. I think it ruined it for most people. Ghosts of Goblins. Way too cut down on the Amstrad. Missing, missing the missing levels and Boulder Dash. Did it? Boulder. I think, I think Boulder Dash eventually got uh, an arcade version. But did it? But didn't the arcade version came out after the um, home computer ports, didn't it? Who said outrun? Black Duke, are you trolling now? <laughs> uh, yes, we really care about Clax and Escape from the Robot Monsters. Really? Good lord. Okay, I'll add it on the list. But remember, guys, uh, um, this is like for a top 10 or top 20 video. Are we? Re do we really think Clax and Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters is going to get in a top 20 when we've got all these before it? I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah. Shadow Dancer Shinobi. Yes. Even though Shadow Dancer was like almost completely silent. Op Wolf is already in there. Yeah. Green Beret. That's that 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 divides that divides opinion. Rampage, yeah, that's a good shout on Rampage actually. Mansion was desperate on Galaxy Force. I like it. A lot of people don't, but it's by the same guys who did um, Afterburner, and I think they're equally as good actually. Um, I feel like we're missing like a really big one somewhere. Like it was a homebrew thing. I can't remember what it was now. Any love for Sly Spy Secret Agent? Nah, I don't think Midnight Resistance would make the list. Boogie Boy? I quite like Boogie Boy, but I don't think it's going to win any more awards. A Vision Thing, The Great Innuendo. Never heard. I've never heard of that. Uh, Tempest? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know on that one. Um. 
Main pubs in Lenton and Dunkirk are quiet for a Friday. I don't know what your place will be like tomorrow. Hmm. I thought everyone might be out for a bank holiday weekend. Everyone's boozing. Um, Joe. Oh, God. I hope it's not too dead tomorrow. Riley Thunder, if you don't play it. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Have you played the Amstrad version, Rob? I love it in the arcades, but... Uh, Best one has to be knock knock. Vision thing, we're talking about arcade conversions to the Amstrad. Uh, so that's this so far. Alcon 2020, Donkey Kong, Chase HQ, Renegade, R Type 128K version, remake. It's a heli, Smash TV, Commando, Ikari Warriors, Double Dragon, oh, one and two. Uh, 100, disc 128K. I'll call it the disc. 128k version, yeah. The Richard Aplin ones. Rainbow Islands, uh, Rainbow Islands, P47 Thunderbolt, wherever or whatever. Space Harrier, Grizel, Afterburner, Robocop, Puzzle Bobble, Bubble Bobble for CPC, Scramble, that's a homebrew remake from a couple of years ago. Ping Pong, Operation Wolf, Bomb Jack, Arkanoid, ER Kung Fu. Star Wars, Pang, Wet the Mons, Continental Circus, Clax, Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters, which I thought was average anyway. Same with Clax. Hey. Um, Shinobi, Shadow Dancer, Rampage, Galaxy Force. Have we missed any? Uh, Chucky Egg wasn't an arcade coin up. Uh. I think Specky Port suck at the CPC. MSX and Team Sam QP users got them too, and they have much more graphically powerful machines. Yes, they did. Yeah, yeah. Jetpack simulator, simulator never gets any love on here, at least for the host of this show, for sure. We're talking about arcade coin ups, though, Chiefy, and this is this stream is all about Alcon 2020. Maybe another stream, Chiefy. <laughs> well, we can do that one. Yeah. Oh, never mind, Joe. Quiet night in the pub, though. It gives you an easy shift, though, for you. <laughs> Kung Fu Master. Mm. Oh, Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Yeah, I'll add that to the list. Yeah. Oh, and Teenage Mutant. Yeah. Two. Yeah, the coin up. Yeah, yeah, turtles. Yeah, vindicators. That was actually not. That was actually quite a good conversion on the Amstrad. But like, did did we like the? Did we like the original one enough? Yeah. Uh, but 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 Scramble is probably the best. This is probably the closest to the to an arcade. True, I was G. True. Yeah. A good enough excuse, I guess. <laughs> Final fight. Oh yeah, I asked earlier, any, any love for Sly Spy Secret Agent? Elevator action conversion? I'll have to check that out. Um, I never really bothered uh, with that one because I, I think there wasn't any... Uh, I never, I, I wasn't bothered with that one because there wasn't an ending to it. Rygar. Was that any good? Hmm... Space Harrier is on the list already. 1942 and 1943, I thought they were pretty average conversions. 1943 only has like a couple of levels, but it only just loops, doesn't it? Sly Spy, alright, and, and someone said Final Fight. Lord. Okay. Alright, I think that would do for our list. For now. I'm going to save this. Best, right, uh, best Amstrad Arcade going up conversions. And maybe like next week, I might do an Am stream on that or something like that. The spellings, I know, I just typed it quickly. I just typed it quickly. No biggie. 
by default the emulation speed increased, then absolutely we're playing it normally is too slow. Yeah. Teenage Muntant. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, quick, quick change there. There we go. Uh, <laughs> long Muntant. <laughs> I spotted it. All right, okay. All right, that's enough for now. There's some, there's some good games there. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, if you think any, think of any more, let me know. Attack for Iron Man. I, I never rated that. Iron Man, the Iron Man game. Was it that good? I don't know. All right, nice discussion. Nice discussion. Let's give, let's give Alcon another go then. Let's give it another go. Right. Oh, let's do that thing again. Right, okay. Hopefully, I'm going to have more focus this time round for bloody Alcon. And again, I nearly got Rex there. Heart's sake. Box are back. Oh, thank you. Uh, who squashed them there? Thank you, Anna. Slapping the pawn box there. Thank you. Hey, uh, Jolly. Uh, thank you again for the donos earlier. And good night, Jolly. Take care, man. Have a good, have a great weekend, dude. Thank you very, very much for earlier. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. That size one. On easy, it doesn't seem to be that much easier. <laughs> These guys seem to be about firing at the same rate as they do on uh, medium, so. Concentrating here, sorry guys. One more star 
are needed. I missed a star somewhere. I don't know where. Hey, there we go. Thank you, Lord Respergu. Thank you. Oh, is Matt Myers off? Good night, Matt. If I missed you there. Oh, Man Shovel as well. Good night, Man Shovel. If, I, if you're off there, uh, just saw very briefly in the chat there. Had a little peek. Had a little peek at the chat. Take care, Man Shovel. Thank you for the cheeky dono earlier as well, mate. Much appreciate And th th that lovely message as well. Take care, mate, and uh, have a great night and weekend, sir. Okay. The next one will be straight here. I could just pause a second. Actually, I need to clean my glasses because uh, I got some smudges on them. But I could catch up the chat there. Uh, is there any news in the people working on Sonic GX or Vespertino? Yes! There's some recent news about Vespertino. The graphics artist uh, tweeted um, a few days ago and has confirmed they are still working on Vespertino. They have. Um, there was a bit of confusion on his original tweet, uh, maybe because um, translation of his span uh, of the Spanish wasn't so good. But essentially, they have got to. Fin they are currently finishing off another project um, because <laughs> how it, how this is work. How what the Batman group were doing? Right, the Batman group were doing pinball dreams. Then they were the pin, the Batman group were doing Pinball Dreams, another project, and then Vespertino, right? And they they did Pinball Dreams, started work on another project, and during this project they started working on Vespertino at the same time, and they and then they put out a teaser trailer really early on for Vespertino, while still working on the previous project. Right, and they put out a t uh, the graphics artist put out a tweet this week saying like we're gonna um, the it got confusing. They put out a tweet saying they're gonna fin the, the project will be finished in like a few weeks or a few months time. People thought they meant that Vespertino will be finished in a few weeks and a few months time. No, what they meant was the current projects they were doing after Pinball Dreams and before Vespertino. That project will be finished in a few weeks and a few months' time. Then they are finishing off Vespertino. Right. So Vespertino will not be coming out in a few weeks or a month or two's time. The 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 the, the, the project in between Ves, uh, Pinball Dreams and Vespertino will be coming out. But we don't know if that's an Amstrad project or a Spectrum project or a Commodore 64 project or an Amiga project. Because Batman Group are so talented, they do stuff on the Spectrum and on the Amiga and the Amstrad, blah, 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 blah. So, right, so there's that. <laughs> it might be an Amstrad project, but I think it actually might be a Spectrum project from what things I hear. But anyway, but it, do, it, it does mean they uh, they clarified as well later on. They are doing, oh, God, horn box again. Um, they are... Confirmed, they are working on Vespertino, and that is the next thing they will finish off. But it will mean, it says that he did clarify, it doesn't mean that it probably will take them about another year. 
So you're looking at 2023 for Vespertino. Uh, so Das Iceman, I think I've already just answered that. So you probably uh, asked us or was in the middle of that. So yeah, yeah, because it took me a while to explain. There was a bit of confusion early this week. Um, I tweeted out and then I had to re I had to send out another tweet clarifying my previous tweet as well. The good news is, because it's been radio silence for about two years, it's the first news about Vespertino in all this time. And uh, it's from one of the main guys, Mac. Mac is the guy that did the graphics on um, Batman Forever and Pinball Dreams. But the main graphics artist, the pixel artist. Um, uh, it's from, from his official Twitter account. So it's the main, one of the main guys on the project. And uh, so it's the first official news on it in like two years. And I wish it hadn't been radio silence all that time, so... Uh, it's the first official confirmation that, yes, we are still working on it. We've just got another project to finish first, and then we're going to finish it off. But, I have spoken to someone else. I don't think I can say any more. But it is highly... Uh, I can tell you the game, the Vespertino game, is highly advanced in, sta in its stage. Right? The, the, it, it is real. It is real. People have seen it running, and it is stunning. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. It is not. It is not like mocked up footage. It is a real game, and it is as good as it looks in that little snippet you've all seen on YouTube and Twitter and all that. Okay, but it's not vaporware. It's not faked in any re in any way, shape, or form. It really does look and play that good. That's all I can say. And it's a, a very, very advanced stage of production. But um, there's a lot of tweaking and fine tuning to do. And it's about those fine details, which I think um, like people like Abelor and Toto will uh, like understand. They, they know where I'm coming from on that. Like um, It's all very well having a, a, um, a game that sort of plays quite well. You, 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 You've got the main code there. It scrolls and you can move a thing about and shoot aliens with it. But it's all about that, the fine details and having it, you know. Yeah. I can't give you any more details other than that. Hang on. Sorry, I just, I just had to mute the microphone there and let off a really big fart. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's all I can say. Yeah, it's real. It's real. It's a real game. Because after after my tweet, someone contacted me. That's and and uh, that's all I can say. Yeah. I need to blow my nose again. Hang on. No, I haven't, Rusbergu. I haven't. No. No, but I, tr I trust I trust the person who sp I spoke to. That's all, that's all I say. So uh, uh, the reason I'm saying this is uh, for some people. Some people have been a bit like, it's all it's it's all bull bull crap and it's all fake and uh, and they're, they're turning it into a bit of a meme and a joke and it's like no, just chill, stop, be patient, don't get don't get on their backs about it. And don't be toxic about it, and don't make. I don't know. Don't make. I, I, I don't want anyone to sort of put them off and go like, oh, the Amstrad scene is a bit toxic, or they're a bit like moany, or they're a bit like ungrateful, and put them off. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't think it will stop them finishing the product, but I, I, I don't want them to make it. I, I, I don't want them, I, I don't need to make them think like, oh, this will be our last product we'll make. Do you know Do you know what I mean, guys? Do you know what I mean? Because they're so far into production on it, they're, they're going to finish it. But like, if, if, I, I, don't want, I, I don't want them to feel like this will be the last one we do, if this, if this is what people are like. Do you know what I mean? Be patient. Anyway, let's crack on. Be good boy be good boys and girls. 
good things come to good boys and girls. It will be worth it. But you never know what might happen. You never know. That, you know that, uh, maybe they might all fall out with each other and it never sees the light of day. It, it, that could happen as well. It's happened to projects over the years. I can only tell you what I've been told. Right, this is where it gets a bit tough. sit here. Hey, there we go. You want to see Hayes make a cry over it? Or oh, I need to concentrate here, hang on. concentration mode here any second. I'm going to put the shield on now. Oh my god. Oh, that's the next restart point. Let's go! This, this is the furthest we've got all night, guys. 
Area 56. God. Where's my next star? We're screwed, aren't we? We're screwed. <laughs> Trying to find where the stars are. Oh, the best run yet. You die, and then you are screwed. Oh. Well, on this one, they might actually do it to make a little bit of money from it. They're planning a physical release. I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I mean, I'm sure they know they're not going to make a, like a huge amount of profit from it or anything like that, and they're doing it more for the thrill of it than anything. But, uh, yes, but yeah, yeah, exactly, M mostly doing it for free. They know that, they know the ROM's going to get out there and we'll try again here. Ah! Where was that star? I think it was from this one up here. Fart! Let's continue. It's impossible because you're now at the slowest speed and you've got no chance. Great start. It's just impossible then. Area 57. Oh. Were we on easy? We were on easy level there. Yeah. Thank you for, totally confident this is the only time I will ever see Area 57. <laughs> oh, back in the GG, the 8 bit tin shed. Unlucky to die in an area of star drought. Great effort, though. Thank you, Das Iceman. Uh, Edison, Paul Edison said, the Batman group play their cards close to the chest anyway. People didn't think they'd deliver pinball dreams. Exactly. And they did. I'm confident Vespertino will be great uh, whenever we get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm confident as well, yeah. Um... Batman Eno. <laughs> yeah. Do a top to let 10 list of CT game explosions that sound most like farts. <laughs> That's good. I like that one 8 bit tin shed. Uh, that, that was quite fart sound. That was quite a farty explosion. That was. Yeah, I like that one. We'll do another run. We should do another run. I think we will. I think we will.
Yes, that yellow cab game on Amstreen, Anna. They did fart at us a lot. Yeah. Oh, here we go. One more run. If you've got Finney, we'll never, we'll never see Chase at Q2 and it will forever remain a holy grail. Do you think it will emerge one day? I think it will emerge one day. I think it will emerge one day. And it was something I will work on doing. It's my, it's my life's goal and mission. There's one pop, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'll make it happen one day. For God's sakes, I'm not concentrating here. GP, good night, GP. Sweet dreams, dude. Thank you earlier, and uh, take care, and good night, my friend. Have a, have a lovely weekend, mate. Enjoy your Jubilee weekend. Well, the thing is, with that the Chase HQ2 card, I was talking, I mentioned something to Toto the other day, actually. If his Play 2 CPC could be used, or maybe uh, reconfigured in a way that could read the, the contents of a Chase H2 uh, G4000 part to safely read the contents and dump it. That would be one of the ways we could convince one of the owners of a Chase HQ2 part to let us safely dump it. That has, that was, that has been one of the problems. Uh, one of the owners did express an interest a long time ago, we're talking years ago, of potentially allowing his car to be dumped. Uh, uh, but the old methods of doing so involves um, basically cracking open the casing of the card to get at the ROM chip inside and you'd extract the ROM chip and put that in an EPROM reader. I think that's what you call it. And uh, pause a second. And the, um, the idea of literally cracking open the casing to get into it was like the look of horror on the guy's face was like like you can see him literally, like literally running away with his like Chase HQ, going no, you are never going to touch my Chase HQ car, and uh, that was the last you would ever see of him again and hear from him again. But if there's a way of using like maybe like a Play Two CPC and like tweaking it so you could actually put the car in and safely read the contents from the cart and extract that data onto, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, onto a PC rather than a CPC, then yeah. Um, hang on a second. What's that? 
Flying around with Kev Backer as a non intrusional way of dumping using the Mega 600. Both older owners told him to F off. Hmm, not sure that's true. I mean, it really depends then how Kev Facker approached this gentleman and explained it to him and what guarantees were given. And also, to say both owners, one owner has been completely in the um, non-contactable. You know, one owner bought it off eBay. Well, we know one owner was an eBay seller, and we were, people contacted him about the car whilst his eBay was selling it on eBay, and uh, and he was just like, "Look, mate, I found it in my loft. <laughs> it's gone crazy on eBay. Uh, I'm just going to see what happens in the auction, right?" That was the first. That's one owner, and then it sold on eBay. Um, to some mystery mystery person who bought it and obviously the eBay seller didn't want to give out his contact details so he buggered off with the car the owner so this other uh, so this other owner became that that guy we presume that's the same guy that uploaded the video on YouTube who locked down the comments and um, didn't want anyone to contact him. He's been he's, that's the other owner. He's been incontactable. So if he said if you say if this Kev saying he's contacted both owners, that's a lie because that guy has been incontactable in all forms. So uh, yeah, careful careful what people tell you, Craig. I think. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't believe all that. Elon Musk, one, two, three, four, five, six. How much did it sell for? Just under... I think it was just under a thousand pounds. Just under a grand. So, yeah. I bet the YouTube account was something called something like the opposite of Jesus. YouTube video appeared after the auction, Craig. 100%. That video appeared after the auction. I watched everything like that, like a hawk, that it documented. Hey, bit tin shed. Oh, dude. Whoa, thank you, eight bit tin shed, for the fourteen ninety nine Australian dollars. Whoa, thank you, mate. All oh, that. Oh no, it's way more, more, more. Well, well. Worth well more than a uh, one English pound there, dude. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Bananas in the chat there. Thank you, dude. Let the bananas rain down there, dude. Thank you, mate. There you go. Thank you, eight bit tin shed. That's very kind of you, mate. Thank you. There we go. And if you want me to check, hang on. Uh, let me see. find the price of that uh, car where is it 
probably be wrong about the price of that. Uh, where was it? It um nine hundred and six pounds eighty seven p. If I just bring that up, there you go. And that was on the twenty fourth of October, twenty ten. Nine hundred and six pounds eighty seven p. You can actually see. Because the link's been, uh, I actually put a bid in, uh, bidding on that, and I won't tell you how much I bid on that back in 2010. And that's on, uh, this is on my actual website. This is my old uh, gx4000.co.uk website. Woo! Yeah, there it is. That's on my actual website there. And, uh, oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah, the auction, there you go. Sorry, yeah, the auction, that was uh, October 2010. And Craig, that video appeared on YouTube uh, 2012, two years after the auction. So, yeah, that's the, that's the video I was talking about, the opposite of Jesus one. That appeared two years after the auction ended for that um, um, blooming uh, thing on eBay. So I I I'm assu I, I I most of us assumed that um, Chase HQ two auction. Um, this the guy that did that video was the guy that won the auction. That's what most people assumed. You don't know. It might be the other guy that appeared in Retro Gamer that Martin Carroll interviewed that James guy, but we're not sure. But most of us assumed it was this guy that won the auction and shook this up on here. But um. Yeah, his comments have been turned off, and um, and on his YouTube channel, there was there used to be a way to message people on YouTube. Actually, if I just turn off the chat, uh, but he had it turned off. But there used to be a way you could send emails on YouTube. I don't know if you guys remember that. There was a I think there was a way to send a message to someone on YouTube years ago. It was like an it used to have a YouTube inbox. God, that brings back memories. But he, he had this turned off, and he could also on his about on his about page. He used to be able to send like leave a message for someone as well. But he, he had that locked down. There was no way to message this guy. So um, again, if like Kev Facker is saying that he did, I I, I wouldn't believe. I, I I take that with a pinch. I take it with a pinch of salt, Craig. I take it. Um, I I I have nothing bad to say against against Kev, but I just. I don't know, something sound, doesn't sound right there. Anyway, let, let's move on from that. Let's move on from that. Anyway, what's the chat saying? What's it worth now? Oh, I, I bid on it as well. <laughs> I don't know. Keep an eye out for in case. Just keep an eye out for car boot sales. You never know. You never know where it might end up next. You never know. Oh, this is before K, Anna. Well before K. I don't bid on it. I don't bid on any more Amstrad stuff anymore. Because uh, now you got now I've got kids and stuff. I don't bid on any Amstrad stuff really. Uh, what was the last thing I bought? I bought Rockstar ate my Amster on cassette for like three quid <laughs> on eBay. On eBay, it was going so cheaply. I think Retro Lim alerted me to it, so I was like, well, if it stays below a five, I think I'll buy that. <laughs> Uh, Finish Freddy's big top of fun on disc for like under a tenner. I think I bought that. And Fruity Frank was on eBay uh, and really badly damaged cassette box. But the actual inlay was fine. The tape was fine. But if that stays under a tenner, I'll pick that up as well. Unfortunately, it went for about 40 quid in the end. So I left, I left that alone. No new footage of it, Lucas. No, no, sadly not. Sadly not. Right, anyway, last crack on. It might be my last run tonight on this, so... Uh...
Jogger! Oh my... No! That's what happens when you freaking pause and you lose your focus. Now I'm a sitting duck. Oh, carry on. I hate this game. Not the um, not the you know what they the, these guys uh, not what Avalor and Taito have done with it. It's just I. Oh. oh, okay. I'll give it one more go, and then I'll have to leave it for tonight. I think. Right. I don't buy anything more on eBay. Them reels off a list of mild things he's bought on eBay. <laughs> Only like three things, three things in the last like, hang on, how long have I been with Kate and the kids in the house? Uh, hang on, Minnie's iPhone's like four, and we're like two, three years before that. Holy crap, you've been in the house that long? Like, about like three things in about seven years, OSG, good lord. Um... Uh, okay, Mothman no, Night Night, good luck this. Thank you, OSG. It's probably in my last run tonight. I'm going to have to call it anyway after this. Keep playing till we loop this game. Oh, God. Anyway, good night, OSG. Take care, man. Have a good weekend, dude. So many keeps forgetting if it gets Kate. I didn't forget Kate's name. I was trying to remember how long uh, we've lived in this house for. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Oh, I didn't use my full speed power ups. Good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, this, uh, that's ice when this loops. Yeah, the game loops. There isn't actually an ending in the arcade either. 
I mean, you sort of get like when you actually get through the end. There's well, there's a boss at the end. There's a big sort of boss battle, and then you get kind of kind of a bit of an ending, I suppose, in a way. You get sort of a congratulationary kind of like jingle of music. Like a, I don't know. Celebrate celebration song. And a nice bit of scenery in the background. Signifying a victory, I guess. And then it starts to loop again. Oh god, I've got to be careful here. Lost a bit of con concentration there. But essentially, the game loops, yeah, forever and ever. Shield pick up. missiles. Oh, we're back. We're back. Fully speedful as well. Just in time for the really bad area here. Yes! Alright, so we get our wingmen back. Thank you, Das Iceman. Awesome. 
when the wing when you get the wingman as well, it increases your firepower. Right here. Oof. The thing about slap fight and alcon is you don't get like a secondary weapon like a smart bomb to like clear all the enemies on a screen or anything like that. You know, like something to fall back on. Like most shooters of the era, like a safety blanket weapon. No! Oh, not the pillow off again. Oh, I've just screwed myself. I've just screwed myself. I can't. I can't believe it. God, not there. And it's impossible now. It can't get past those tanks. Because on this version of the game, uh, it just, like, uh, it drops you a level on the speed. Um, let's see. Oh, actually. Oh, actually. What is this? What is that? Oh. Oh. That's a two lanyard still with us, man. Spinny eggs. Doable. It's winnable. Let's try it. We've got two continues. Got it! Hit it. You've got to hit them right in the center. Holy moly, look how quick. Oh, come on. Come on. 
Come on! Oh, brutal! Absolutely brutal! Hey, welcome back, Interlace! Welcome back! I mean, we had a few breaks and like diversions here and there. Oh, nice jingle there, music actually. Ah, uh, no more continues. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to call it there. Got time for one more run? Do one more run. It gets, uh, it gets bullet hell at that point, maybe. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the game isn't really bullet hell. Uh, bullet hell enthusiasts would probably go, yeah? We'll call this last run tonight. We'll call this one last run. Start that. Oh, this version is better than the C64. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But then again, you know, uh, they haven't remade the Commodore 64 version. If a team re if someone remade the Commodore 64, 64 version, it'd run it close if they spent a few years on it. I'm sure. I'm sure. A talented team with the luxury of time, you know. Well, a very talented team, of course. Not to take anything away from Avalor Games. But you have to remember the teams back in the day, like uh, Ocean and Imagine Software, very quick turnaround times on their games, often a few weeks if they were lucky. My God! Back the porn box back. Brian, good evening, Brian. How you doing, man? Popping in late again. <laughs> Let me just pause there a second. See some other new people there as well. Uh, uh, pull anchor and put your head on my shoulder. Anyone even? Uh, and also for me that was an early memory I was always in the tape card deck ready right when we we're on our way to family holiday to give me nightmares but overall it was okay enough. But I'm not sure what that was in reference to Chiefy. Um 
Is this on normal CPC or boosted CPC? Anna, this game will run on a normal um, uh, Amstrad CPC 464, but you need like an extension which will allow you to plug an, uh, a GX4000 style car in. Um, so this comes on like a GX4000 style cart, but it's not specifically a GX4000 game. It doesn't use any of those uh, plus or GX4000 features. It just uses its medium, if you know what I mean. Just like, they like the, they like the style of the Amstrad cart, like its look. Um, that's, they've just chosen its look rather than, do you know what I mean, Anna? Okay, so it will plug straight into a GX4000. But the, 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 if you buy, if you get the Play 2 CPC, it's like a little expansion card which the cart plugs into, and it will plug into the back of a, an Amstrad CPC 464, or 6128, or 664, and it will work in one of them straight off the bat. Don't need any of your extra stuff. Um, oh, how did your wedding gig go, Brian? Welcome, Mr. Higgins. How, how, is, how are you going, mate? How you doing? How you doing? And I thank you for squashing the porn bots there. So, yeah, we're running in an emulator tonight, uh, Interlace. Uh, I haven't uh, hooked up a hardware capture system yet. Uh, even though, to my right, I've got a desk full of Amstrads. Of every Amstrad you can think of, I've got that you right next to me. But um, I do have an issue in my office of space and how I would capture. And uh, I actually need a capture card from a PC at the moment. Um, uh, uh, why am you to Carney? Welcome to the Amstream. It's good afternoon from New Zealand. This, this, this game looks amazing and hard as nails. That's right. So this is um, basically you might know the game as Slap Fight in the arcades and coin ops. Um, it's also known as Alcon in the US. So this is a um, port of the coin op known as Alcon or um, Slap Fight to the Amstrad. Uh, it, it, there was actually an official port of this from Imagine Software and Ocean back in 1987, which was rather substandard. So they've remade it, uh, the uh, Team Avalor Games as Alcon 2020. And we're uh, playing it through tonight. Well, welcome to the stream, uh, YMU. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you, everyone, for giving YMU a hello and welcome, if you have already. Yes, great use of pixel art, Devering. Uh, thank you. Uh, Toto, the graphics artist, is in the chat, actually. Or was. Right, we're going to finish off playing here. This, this is my last run tonight, anyway. Quick run. It's quite late where we are in the UK, YMU. 2 a.m. I was supposed to finish about an hour ago, but I'm feeling good tonight. So, anyway, I don't die here. Toto there still in the chat. Wow, you stayed up late, Toto, with us. I'm disappointed I haven't got further tonight. I made some silly mistakes. Because I have beaten the game before. Come on! Where's my next star? Oh, I won't get one! 
I'm screwed. Eyes. I can't believe that, man. give it one more go. I'll give it one more go. I don't want to end on that. Sorry about the porn bots, guys. Not much I can do about that. I did report it to uh, YouTube support on Twitter with, like, quite hilarious consequences. I really didn't understand the problem. All right, this will be last run tonight. Mm, this will be last run. I look stoned. <laughs> Well, <laughs> hey, this one thing looks bigger. Uh, hello, Aaron. What looks bigger? How are you doing, mate? What? What are you on about, Aaron? How are you doing, mate? Good to see you, though. That's dry. Uh, all the bots are reported. Thank oh no, there's more coming. Oh god. Uh, yeah, is this a remake? Yes, it's a new remake. Yes, Aaron, yeah. Got to, I think this has got to be my last run here, last go, even if I cock it up really early on, I've got to call it, or I'm going to regret it tomorrow. <laughs> Good. 
Homing missiles on the go. Side. And the wing. Now we're fully ready. Well, I can hold the fire button down now. Star there, but I nearly got wrecked. I might not have the shield with this mini boss now. Sugar. Okay. Oh, we will. We've got a star here. No, we're good. We're good. Be really careful now here. So I can't really look at the chat now, guys. This is my last run. I've got to really concentrate, keep my eyes open for um, bullets, which are quite hard to see on emulation. Easier to see on an Amstrad, real Amstrad monitor and screen, I have to say. Grand loose gives him the drone set to his good. Did you know this weekend with back, uh, back, uh, two backs back on Sunday? Look forward to them all. Nice, dude! I like the wedding gigs are always fun and always well paid as well, right? Putting the shield on here. That was screw up. Shield doesn't last very long though. Look how and bit of time the shield stays on for.
area is tough. Wingmen, that's all right. I think we're good. Thank you for squashing the bots again, Maud. Thank you, Maud. God, I need to concentrate there. Holy cow! Bring my wingmen back. Damn it, lost the wingman. Oh, got the wingman back. Nice. Hey, uh, Avalor, Toto, Newsflash, easy level is not that easy. <laughs> probably too late to tweak though, probably. Missiles against these tanks. It seems to be firing out one at a time. Oh, well, I seem to be through it. Is that a glitch? Oh my goodness. More of these pipes. Ooh, that's restart point. That's good. things take oh this is the highest we got as well bloody hell that's it then that's it it's a rip guys that's it we're not going to get any further tonight. It's impossible now. <laughs> oh. Oh. You agree, Toto? What, which bit? Sorry. Hi, Tall Paul. Hello, Tall Paul. Le very, very late. We're about to finish, actually. Yeah, I've had an okay week. It's been a bit of a tough week. I've been very poorly, actually, this week. 
and the worst colours I've ever had. Brett! Poor DDF for five hours. I know, it's supposed to be the sh it should have been a short stream tonight. To be honest, that, uh, where we just got to, was one of the hardest parts of the game. We got those uh, turrets um, that just spam. Oh, we've got... Cr yeah, I'm going to put auto-fire on, actually, see so if we can get past us with auto-fire. Ah, it's just too slow. So slow. Oh man, we need the speed power up. Come on, that's credit. Oh, there's the start. There's the start. We need. We need that star. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, there we go, guys. That's it. I'm done. I'm at, I'm putting my joystick away. I'm not tempted to put another credit in and have another go. Right? Is it Alcon Holics Hour? Yes, that's a good way of looking at it. There. Well, <coughs> excuse me, so, hang on, I'll mute the mic. <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, here we are. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Right, I'm calling it there. I'm calling it there. I'm calling there. Thank you, uh, uh, Toto and Albalor. Thank you so much for sending me um, uh, a special uh, CPR and ROM file to play the game tonight, live on the AM stream tonight. Thank you so much uh, for sorting that. And thank you so much for making Alcon 2020. Wow. And also making a physical version of the game as well for everyone. Don't forget, they are doing a second batch and run of these. So if you missed out on the first one, uh, you can still get still get in on it if you do want your own copy. Exclamation mark, Alcon 2020 in the chat. The Nightbot will respond with the link there to click if you're interested. Get in there quick before um, they run out. There's a, there's a very, very limited run of... Um, very, very limited run of copies there being made if you do want them there. Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. Um, we'll have a bit more of a varied AM stream next week. May look at better arcade conversions maybe next week. I we started on that tonight. Or maybe something different. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, thank you everyone uh, for tuning in tonight. Cheers for all the donos. It was very... Uh, it tried to put me off earlier. That was funny. <laughs> Pretty much bright. It's nice to actually... Um, do a stream where we actually just like do one game and like um what's the word what's the word i'm looking for not pummel it um grind it like uh, for the whole stream like a lot of streamers like uh, do actually um do that like they they will just do one game and try and beat it on the stream like um but like I, I tend to do like end up doing like hundreds of games per stream and like um, <laughs> if I spend more than like five minutes on a game everyone's like come on Zai spin on spin on because that you've all you've all got used to like getting like 30 games 30 different games on a stream on a night or something like that <laughs> whereas like, I get jealous of like Hazemaker who's just like chilling there on like one game or two games for like six hours on a stream i'm like can i do that for once <laughs> no it's all good so it's nice once in a while where i could just like chill especially when it's a freaking good game like that and uh, I, I want to actually learn it and beat the game 
<laughs> I was hoping to actually beat it tonight so I could get the first video on YouTube of like uh, the first long play, but never mind. Maybe I might uh, do some more runs on Twitch in the week or something like that. So, um, yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, so, thank you everyone uh, for tuning in tonight. Uh, cheers, Toto. I'm going to finish Alcon before to sleep. Oh, okay. Uh, you're going to try and beat it, are you, Toto? Good, good luck, good luck. Uh, thank you, uh, Lucas. Uh... <laughs> Five minutes, 30 minutes more like, dude. Sometimes I get to play a game for 30 minutes. 30 minutes of people bow. <laughs> That's too long. Hayes making sits like for six hours in one game. Or like Sunati or whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Tall Paul. Zidulan, Maud, Brian. Uh, Chiefy, thank you, Chiefy, for running a Das Iceman, it's the Sneaky Maud. Well done for winning the tournament on Ant Stream Maud again. Um, Abelor, Robin Hook. Um, no, I didn't get the win tonight. Never mind. Aaron Phillips. <laughs> Chrissy Fiddler. Uh, Lucas, Anna. Um, Wymu, nice to meet you tonight as well. Um, and everyone else who tuned in tonight for her. Um, Interlace as well. Nice meeting you tonight as well. Take care, everyone. I will, shall be back on Monday on Twitch. Uh, oh, might be, might not be on Monday. It might be Tuesday. So uh, hopefully catch you there. Um, guys, take care, everyone. See you all again soon. Have a, have a great bank holiday weekend. Take care. Good night, guys. See you all soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> take care, everyone. Bye.